Welcome back, everybody. <laughs> the, there's like a domino effect. All the pickaxes. Oh, oh my. my. Does this place have alcohol? <laughs> it does. Life right now is not worth living if I don't change it. How did you get here? I took a wagon. Oh, God. Uh, do I recognize the second? Uh, what? You can take out the little book that you looted from the Monteros, from the basement of the Monteros. What? what? <laughs> I take it out. I take out the little hymnal. What the? What fudge? Welcome back, everybody. <laughs> oh, man, you guys played along real good there. Nobody said anything. Um, <laughs> welcome back, everybody. We're going to be diving into chapter 17 tonight. We welcome everybody back after a, a daring rescue mission to recover the young boy, Wes, after, uh, in true Lassie style, falling falling down an old well. Well, I guess he didn't fall. His mom fell down a well. <laughs> so it goes. But before we go back to the scene of the crime, uh, let's do our usual thing. <gasps> what is the... Thank you for joining us on Sunday on Twitch. We love that. You can also watch the show uh, when it comes out on YouTube in high def on Fridays. Um, you can watch it even earlier if you're a YouTube member, a Patreon subscriber, or a person that listens to podcasts, because that's all is on Tuesday, uh, is when you can get a hold of that stuff. And if you want to get a hold of lots of other stuff, you can find us on social media, and all of the social medias, be it Instagram, Twitter, threads, um, all of those places you can find us and find incredible <laughs> clips that Jordan works very hard on. She does. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm waiting for a clip of Meet me in the West. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's a promo. Oh, it's coming. Follow so you can see oh, that when it comes. That's the only thing Erica remembers from last time. I was hallucinating no, all of last week. West. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, yeah. The other thing that we have that's really tight is merch. Is this shirt? Is this shirt? <laughs> um, oh. Is wow, called out. Um, is merch, and um, if you order the right size, it may be more spacious, and if you order the wrong size, it might be tight. Um, <laughs> wow, I fucking crushed this. Wow. Talent, uh, pick it right up. Super tight places is Discord. Uh, Discord uh, tabletop, <laughs> tabletop dot gg slash tabletop notch is where you can find us. It's a great server. You'll find fan art. You'll find latest uh. episode discussions where you can talk about all the spoilers you want. Um, if you're Catching up on previous campaign, there's a lot of places to talk about that too. Mm. Um, they, you literally got everything. If you want to talk about your homebrews, there were some awesome homebrews posted in the Discord this week. Um, oh yeah, that you should definitely oh, yeah, take a look really, at. I, I Very love cool. Reading that um, so join. There's everything DD related. I'll also say some of our merch is not wearable. Mm. Um, so just sure. FYI, you can. It, it doesn't. It's like a unis. But if you tried to wear it, situation. it would probably be tight. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. okay. All right, cool. Fantastic. I'm going to leave. Jordan. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Wow. Clean up the, Clean oh, up the mess. Clean up the mess. Patreon. Oh. Patreon. I was Wait. supposed to talk about Patreon. We, <laughs> <laughs> we have a Patreon where you can get early access to our episodes, um, some Hero Forge minis that you see in the game, and also this month and the next coming couple days, we're going to be dropping our homebrew packet for the Big Notch and Above yeah. tier. Um, T not TB TBA of what it is. Yes. We know what it is, but we, we know. Right. Mm -hmm. It is determined, but not. <laughs> it has been determined. <laughs> um, so keep an eye out for that. And then, as always, shout out to our excellent community who's helping like man this whole ship, which is like our mods, right. our wiki builders, uh, people who make our closed captions, all that good stuff. Uh, Dude, our mod just did a, like a nice little spring cleaning revamp of the Discord server, so thank you very much uh, for all of that. I like the new colors. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. yeah. Oh, the colors Dude, they picked pretty. incredible colors. Um, so thank you all for helping us keep this going. Yeah. Um, um, thank you to those that joined us last week for the Notch and Soda. We had a blast. Oh, okay. um, is that up yet? Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, 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 that's also available to those who have uh, subscribed or, um, or Patreoned or whatever. Um, but yeah, we love hanging out with you guys once again, just so we fun. keep reminding. Uh, we do those once every four weeks or every four shows, technically. Four episodes, four yeah. Four episodes, yeah. Um, so hang out, ask questions. So the next one will be chapter 20, 20. right? Mm -hmm. yeah, oh. Do you feel validated that you were right about the bug debate? Yes. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh. So another thing that was not facts. Our yeah. Facts got slapped into. It. Thank you. I think Spider, it was Spider Wrangler, Wrangler yeah. came in, cleaned up the place. Count on Spider Wrangler. Yes, we absolutely can. Say. We needed Bug Wrangler. We did. We did. Insects have three portions and this oh, many okay. legs. Bugs are gross. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the technical <laughs> classification of is, bugs is they make you go you. Bugs are gross. <laughs> <laughs> I just like that he pointed out that I was the only one who actually stated it. Oh, yeah, but so it was a water line. Okay. So. Oh, yeah. Thank all right, you. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> George, we should thank some people, right? I was the one being validated. <laughs> 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 Um, we're already at like a high train level seven. Ooh, which I think oh. Oh. And a stream streak 17 for yeah. us. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. Oh yes. um, start with, uh, subscribe with Prime. Uh, Tenton Buddha re- uh, subscribe with Prime. Did you know that you can do that for free if you have a Prime account? It's fine. Uh, Low Brass Guy resubscribed. So Light Fighter NCO not. resubscribed. FNF resubscribed. Cobb.law subscribe with Prime. Hello. Tony Tooth resubscribed. Hello. 53 months. Wow. 53 months. Wow. Wow. That's not a full streak from day one, but I it's know. pretty close. Uh, yeah, Doofish Birds Booty Cheese gave out 10 community subs. Damn, thank thank you. you. Jay Brownie did 1,000 bits. Thank you. Thank Helljack you. did 5,000 bits. Thank you. Wow. Wiz Running 5 community subs. Thank you. Doofish Birds Booty Cheeks with 10 more community subs. Wow. Uh, GRXG83 cool. gave out 10 community subs. Helljack 3 Stream Streak. Wow. CW Mild 200 bits. Cage King resubscribed. OMF. Now it's just making me mad. 200 bits. Why are you upset? CW Mild gave out 5 community subs. Vexalon resubscribed. Doofish Birds Booty Cheeks gave out a sub. Wow. Wow. Oh, oh, you started to give I'll tell you why it makes me mad because. Not everyone gets it. What? Not I everyone don't gets understand it. when you the stream like streak shows stream up. Yeah, something. but I want higher, and I want it every week. <laughs> I think you, don't you have to like? It pops up in chat. It's Not a thing. It can, it can be like this I is your four stream streak. Share have it with chat. Yeah, you're. Oh, you yeah. have to share. You have to share it with chat. You I know. Do it. But it's not giving me the. <laughs> well, then you haven't earned <laughs> anyway, the stream streak. Duda is right. We should have just wa- asked Handler Birch about the spiders. <laughs> oh, so true. Would yeah, have known all about it. Yeah. Um, okay, everybody. Uh, Erica's got her popcorn. She's ready to watch. <laughs> yeah. <the> recap. <laughs> I'm hungry. So we're gonna throw it over to the recap, and then the intro will play, and we'll dive into chapter 17 of Broncolo. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Wisdom. Thank you for the job. Thank you very much. All right, everybody. Here we go. <laughs> <Challenge>. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't tell what was that going was on. That was quite the shot we just got. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, his legs? Where are his legs? <laughs> hmm. Oh. Previously on Chapter 16, North by Northwest, Ilian finally got a chance to dig deeper into the mystery of Yarpaya during an extended chat with Mr. Montero. Liam couldn't answer all of his questions, but the strongest lead seemed to point to the enigmatic Ramo Klein, who may or may not even still be alive. As Kate and Maeve wrapped up their first pass through the old Mori alchemical notes, Doxley picked up her pay from Bison and weaseled her way into getting a look at the controversial dig site. On the other end of town, TC and Morna crossed paths with Rufus Diamond, whose son had run off to try and collect the remains of his dead mother. It didn't take much convincing to get the group to stage a rescue, but the mine shaft the late Mrs. Diamond had fallen down was fraught with danger. Some kind of rock worm lurking within the walls burst forth to bludgeon anyone who made too much noise, but there was just enough health to go around to get Wes and his mom's bones safely back up. Had Doxley put her friends on the spot volunteering Mona's masonry expertise? And is Ilian's search taking him closer to a man who once terrorized the Tyroons? Stick around and find out in Chapter 17 of Broncolor. Full house. Take my word for it.
With all of you back above ground, the groans and rumbles begin to subside. The creature below returning to dormancy after punching through several holes that may have compromised the structural integrity of the mineshaft. The only sounds you hear now are your own heavy breaths and the quiet sobs and shushes coming from a reunited father and his son. Your adrenaline carried you up the ladder, but those who took the brunt of the worm's bludgeoning force can feel a slight wheeze to their inhalations. Ribs not outright broken, but almost certainly bruised. Headaches creeping in and patches of skin scraped up with streaks of dirt and blood. After an extended embrace, Rufus lets go and he holds the boy at arm's length and sort of inspects him for injuries. And upon noticing that a patch of his trousers is soaked with blood down by the ankle, he frantically searches for an open wound. You can see Rufus sort of roll up the bottom part of his leg there, but Wes, he reaches out and he stops him and he shakes his head. It's not mine. The man that followed me down there, he, he shouted and he, and he lunged at me, grabbed me by the back of my pants. But that thing down there, it hurt him when he yelled and it just, it just crushed him in an instant. I mean, he was bleeding and, and I had to pull myself free and, and he's kind of getting worked up and then Rufus sort of pulls him back into a hug again. It's okay. It's all right now. I'm gonna take you back to camp. Sort of pulls him at arm's distance once more. I thought I, and he's talking more directly to his dad at this point. I thought I could just sneak in without being seen and I thought it was just the one guy, but I stepped on something that made like a loud popping noise. And by then it was too late to run. So I just went down there and, and I tried to hide or, or lose him. I'm just glad that you're all right. There ain't no need to ever go back down there. True. Honoring your mother is important. But if you got hurt going after the bones, she'd reach out from beyond the grave to smack me upside the head. And finally, Wes sort of, who's, they weren't in an embrace at that point, but still touching each other, Wes sort of gets free of his father's arms there and turns towards the group, sort of wide-eyed. And you see the, in a little bit of the chaos of what was happening underneath. He certainly recognized Morna, who was the first one to sort of move over to him, but he realizes kind of now fully for the first time that it's all the people that he was traveling with <laughs> at the time. Like, he definitely recognized you, but he sees that now, all the same faces, all the same people. And as he's, you can see that recognition wash over his face, and once again, Rufus sort of touches him on the shoulder and he motions. Look now, they got us through the cusp. Now they got us through this too. Thank you, all of you. Next time it'll be me saving your life, I promise. That's not even... Put I that in the equation. I yeah. can't wait. Now, words ain't enough, and I'll find a way to prepay y'all. Believe that to be true. Wouldn't feel right if I didn't. Certainly didn't feel right leaving him down there. Anyone would have done it. I'd like to think that's true. Hard to know sometimes. And unfortunately, it seems we lost some of your wife on the way up, but there is Sorry. still... You can see he waves and he's like a little bit of tears forming in his eye. You, you've done more than enough. More than enough. Ain't nobody needs to go back down there, not on my wife's account. We got a piece of her to bury, that's good enough for me. Forgive the Inquisition. Just a few more details about, you were saying, you thought there was only one person. Was this? You're talking to Wes now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's, I mean, there was just the one person, but I thought I could get by him and get down without being noticed. And then, like I said, I stepped on this, 
It was crunchy, almost like a bag of rice or something, but it made a loud popping noise. And where exactly was that? It wasn't right here by the by the opening, but it was a little further out. He's kind of pointing kind of loosely around the perimeter. He doesn't know okay. quite exactly where it was. Um, everybody give me um, just a straight intelligence check. Oh, still a disadvantage. <laughs> yeah. Oh, intelligence. I don't even care. Oh. oh wow. wow. <laughs> 12. 5. 15. 14. 17. Great. Wow. For the three of you that rolled over 15, you it, the description of this sounds familiar, not only because you might have heard of it before, but also because you might have browsed through it in the Samson and Samson catalog. Uh -huh. It sounds like snap powder. It, it's like, it's basically, you don't know this because magic is a little more scarce in this universe, but it's like a poor man's alarm spell. It makes a very loud popping noise if you step on it. So if you needed to fall asleep or something, you could scatter some around the area to, like if, a, if an animal stepped on it, it would make a loud and wake you out of your sleep. And this is not something that like, <laughs> you go around and find, oh, here's the snap powder. It's like, it's been drizzled. It's been scattered. Yeah. Okay. It, it, yeah. Dang it. <laughs> 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 All right. You would, you, it comes in a little sort of burlap packet, but then you but, open it and you yes. scatter okay. it around. Okay. Dang it. <laughs> I imagine you set off some kind of a trap, but yeah. has anyone ever seen anything like that creature that was down there before? No. no. I don't. Packs a punch. Is my armor like dented from it now? Uh, superficially, like it functions fine, but it, yeah, it looks a little beat up as does Zillions as well. I mean, it, yeah. My ribs. <laughs> um, well, yeah. Um, also, I know you said, uh, it's probably not important, hopefully. Um, when I was grabbing the bones, uh, there was a ring and a sort of uh, bracer. Um, I, I've lost the bracer, if that's of importance. Oh, no. It ain't important, and I wish it had never come to her. I don't know how much I said. I think it's these things. I had her go through the gate to begin with. Her interest in see. items of that nature. I never wanted anything to do with it. It probably wasn't just those two that she had on her, or maybe she got some stashed somewhere else, I don't know. You don't know if she had a tent in one of the local camps, or we a room at the inn. We aim to find that out, but no luck yet. She came here a little while back, so any tent or room she would have rented probably filled by someone else by now. I don't know what they do with the items when no one's there no more. Right. Um, can I take a look at that sure. ring? Yes. <laughs> um, and do a little magic awareness. You I think may I have one indeed. Left, so. <laughs> As you sort of open yourself up a little bit to the magic of the area, who's holding the ring? Who has Ilian it? Has it. Ilian has or, it. Yeah, it. yeah maybe as you were, yeah, your bucket or as you were talking about it, maybe you kind of held it up. You open your eyes, and for the first time since you've sort of used it in Brunk Hollow, all of a sudden, almost like a, like there's the brazier that's a little bit further away that's like glowing that you guys saw on your approach. Yeah. And for a minute you think you're looking at the brazier because of the sort of reddish warm energy that comes off of it. It like looks like it's heated, like as if you dropped something in a, fur, uh, a forge and then with a pair of kind of tweezers or pliers pulled it out and it has that kind of glowing oh. red metallic energy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there definitely seems to be some magical essence. <laughs> <I'm not laughs> <a one. laughs> what school is it in? Does this also let you do the school of magic? Yeah. It does. Um, and it it's does. gnarly school too. Cool. Um, abjuration. Abjuration, can you tell me what that means? Yeah, it, it usually has to deal with um, like defensive magics, protective <laughs> magics. <laughs> <laughs> so excited. <laughs> Contain yourself. Uh, and can I look, is, how far down into the mine is it? Like to the it bottom of the well? To the bottom, I mean, we could look that up really quick. Because I get 60 feet, so I'd like to It was definitely deeper than 60. It was more than 60. Yeah. Damn. Damn, all right, never mind then. I won't bother. <laughs> Um, you could take a peek down and I'll say. But I can't see anything. The, when the bucket kind of hit the side and you heard some things kind of falling down, you heard like a 
like a splash at the bottom, yeah. and the water at the bottom is definitely deeper than Great. 60 Okay, feet. Yeah, so never mind. Then I will just oh. file that away. I thought he's, he's saying that the water was deeper than 60 feet, but you're saying that the top of yes. the water is yeah. more yeah. than ground level down. Yes. Oh, yes. The, yeah. <laughs> okay. You swam fast. Yeah. <laughs> Here, <I'm> <laughs> Yeah, it's about 80 feet. I looked it up. Okay, right. so if you could go down a little bit, but it was about 80 feet. No, no. <clears throat> Did you know if your wife made any particular friends in town? Uh, I don't know that so well. Um, I heard from some that she uh, worked with the horses, Bernard. Mm. Um, we did a little bit of that trade ourselves on the outside. I don't know if she worked for them or if she just was looking for a job, but when she left, that's what she said. She'd try and find something to do with horses. So have you speaking with Bernard about her work or where she was staying? I aim to do that as well. I, I talked briefly to Bernard. You actually saw me leaving his place uh, just a couple of hours ago or mm -hmm. an hour ago. He was busy, sort of scatterbrained. The man's uh, hard to keep on track, a little unfocused, but he recognized her name, for certain. Uh, I got the impression that if she worked for him at all, it wasn't for that long, otherwise he would have known more immediately. Mm. She was here for months. She was here probably for about a month before she died. Months. But that was a couple of months ago that she came here. I do hate to do this, but I believe we should walk back yeah, as quickly yeah. as we can. Of course. Um, nothing that y'all lost down there, I hope. <laughs> if something fell of your own. No, no, sir. No. A little bit of my constitution, but, uh... Okay. Glad to hear that. Did you, uh... And he kind of looks to Wes for a moment, and then also... Did you see the man that, that Wes spoke of down there? Only his boot. It's fully obscured by rubble. No uh, signs of life. None. No, sir. Wes, you didn't get a name, or a, could you describe him to us? I could describe him a little bit. Not a name, certainly didn't introduce himself. A human, short black hair. He had a, uh, his arm was sort of in a sling when I first saw him, but when he came to chasing me, he threw it off, almost like the huh. tail end of its recovery. Hmm. Cause he seemed like he was able to use it. He came down the ladder after me, so it right. wasn't like it was fully broken or nothing. Did you get a chance to try to explain yourself or was it just a duck and cover? I didn't think that worked, so I didn't. Fair. We were already told not to come here, so. Can we? Uh, yeah. Yes. No one wants that bracer? You didn't get hit by it, Doc Slane. Nope. Well, I, I really wouldn't suggest it, because it hurt like hell. Seems like there's a reason they closed down the mine. To be completely honest, maybe after a good night's sleep. I leave that up to y'all. I'd hate for someone to get injured on our account. Wouldn't be on yours, it'd be on ours. You come and get me when that happens. Oh, God. Warren is just gonna <laughs> start walking, <laughs> shaking her head at these two. I won't tell you what to do, but I can't imagine after one of his men goes down, they ain't gonna bring somebody else to keep watch. I'd keep that in mind. Sorry. It, you don't think that we'll continue to keep watches here? No, I'm saying when they find out one of theirs was felled, they're gonna send someone, oh, maybe more than one. Right, right. It's gonna make it harder for us to snatch anything. <sighs> that wasn't, and he sort of sees where this is going, <laughs> that wasn't me advocating for going down now. I understand. I understand. Mr. Welker, are you not tired? I am simply exhausted. <laughs> My we dear. Should, we should go like that. <laughs> <laughs> but I do worry that I won't make it back out tonight. I don't think anything's valuable enough for someone to lose their life over it. Oh. I'm sure there's lots of 
weird, mysterious, magical objects scattered throughout town. You're sure of it? You see West's <laughs> eyes like light up. <laughs> well, if Mrs. Diamond was collecting them, I'm, I'm sure there are more to be found she somewhere. She sounded like a singular woman. <laughs> Whose talents would okay, not be respectful. Be widespread. Let's be respectful. I, I, I only know that she likely brought a few of them with her. I, That's I, what I, I meant. I don't know if she found any while she was here, but. Look, I would like to go down, but I'm not going to go down alone. So, unless I have one other brave volunteer to come help me, I'm not doing it. I would go with you if you really want to, but I'll have to take my armor off. As I, it's a waste for me to go down there making up this much noise. Really, you were hit very bad. You look like absolute shite right now. I'm gonna use my healing surge and two hit dice. Lena, no, no. All right, here we go. And, and my second win is what I meant. Um. Okay. Okay. And then. Was that a one? It's a one and a, a, one? It's a, one yeah. and a ten. No. Oh, okay. And All right. then. That's still. Oh wow. Okay. Um, nice. great, so I read, nice. I have, uh, let's see, five, uh, that's six. Morna watches Ilian like, try to gain his energy, she's like, oh god, that's not working. <laughs> Stop. Uh, I feel okay. Perfectly okay, not great, no way. but okay. <laughs> I could do it if we really wanted to. Ilian. I'll be in great shape to retrieve your corpses tomorrow morning. <laughs> Let's have dinner and walk away, is my suggestion. How? What are you even gonna do with the, that thing? If they're as extraordinary as they seem to be, we could protect many people, slay many things with these things. Morna's gonna a... take the ring and see, like, do I feel anything if, if I put it on? <laughs> <laughs> you go <Don't> shooting. In... <laughs> uh, no, you don't. And mechanically, most usually items of a magical nature need to be understood. And, too. Yeah, yes, sir. Mm. But how would you even do that? Since we have no idea what these fucking things exactly. are. Exactly. Good question. <laughs> Sounds okay. like something to be learned. Mm. But yes, immediate donning the ring does not seem okay. to impart any instantaneous effects. Have you got it any? It doesn't seem all that special to me. <laughs> <laughs> have you got any early morning plans? Yeah, I do actually. And she's gonna start unbuttoning her, or un, like, no. hooking her um, armor. <sighs> And her boobies fall out. What are you waiting for? Fucking <laughs> her. I'm gonna take my armor off. Like as <sighs> like as if you were gonna go into yeah. Okay, then I will start doing that too. <laughs> no. I will follow at the top. I will be your top man. Are you f feeling comfortable to take yourselves home? Yeah. Yeah, of, of course. Uh, I don't want you to go down there, but I won't stop you. It was under tough circumstances, but I'm happy to see both you and Wes alive and well. We'll start working our way back. Still walking over to the entrance. <sighs> see him? You can see Wes, as he sort of okay. ushers Wes away, you can see him kind of looking over his shoulder, trying to like just see what you guys are doing. You can Ugh. tell that he's kind of interested, but he keeps getting kind of slowly pushed away. Now. In the interest of not having anyone fucking die. Yeah. A makeshift ship, fishing pole, perhaps. Just a, a, a rope. piece of rope. Uh, not just a piece of rope. What are you gonna do? Oh. Wet noodle it at the bottom. Oh. You have to attach something to the bottom I of the rope. You were it's heavy and hooked. Tie us with the rope, and if anything goes wrong, you can pull up our limp bodies. My I actually think that's God. a rather good idea. Something hooked and heavy at the bottom. Anyone, to, I've seen a weapon of yours that For looks- For what purpose? I'm, I'm confused as to the mechanic you're pitching right now. So that you If may... something fell down into that water again, uh -huh. it's best to not jump into that water again. If we can go down silently and fish silently, we may be able to get out of here without a single, another hit. I have a grappling hook and I don't wish to give it to any of you fools. I'll pay you for it. No. You can buy another one. Oh, yes, I will love your blood money for sure, Mr. Welker. God damn it. She's going to tie the rope around the grappling hook because she's like, they're not going to listen to me. Sure. You do. 
So what are we doing? You're quietly. Yeah. You are quietly climbing down okay. to the bottom, back to the bottom. Okay. And you are using this grappling hook to get things if they are down in the water, which I imagine they are. Was it that much of a it's climb in and out of the water? Eight feet ish. Oh, okay. I don't know. It is too Is that avoid... really gonna make? It makes a lot of noise to difference? climb down into that water. Okay, I wasn't down there. I don't know what's going down there. Does, what, the, what? does the ladder go from that second tier down into the water, or does the ladder stop? It does not go into the water. You can throw your uh, map back on if you like. Well, I have I a should, you know. climber's kit. Do I also have a grappling hook? Uh, does that come with a grappling hook? I'm not sure. It just comes with the pitons. Yeah, pitons and, uh... Do you remember... I've got rope, though. Yeah. If you're, if you're unarmed, I've got a shitload of rope. Like, is it, like, your dex? Dead it, does, it does not come with a grappling uh, hook. Okay. No. Okay. Yes, it's plus your dex. Okay. Uh, Ten plus dex, right? Pop this lot. back up once more. Um, so the, the ladders, like, it goes down to the first level here, and then a little further... Um, it goes down to the lower level, but it doesn't go to the water. It goes right. to a little platform so just above. So you'd have to jump into the water and make a splish splash. Or just, or climb. I'll like hop, like hold the edge and lower yourself in. Lots of points of failure is what I'm talking about. And a rope and a grappling hook is much more silent. I would, I would suggest you start with that. I think that's Fine. fair. Fine. Can we go on out? I will be one of the people at the top ready to pull on the rope that is around you, and I'm starting to get my climbing kit with the two ropes together so that anyone who wants to go down can have something around them. I'll okay. get my rope out too. Be like, well, if everybody is participating, I don't want to be left out. <laughs> All right, okay, so I'll one... walk up to you, arms spread so that you can tie it around my waist. I come up <laughs> behind you. <laughs> I want this in Wait, extreme what? detail. You, Describe you, this in grave detail, <laughs> beat for beat. Safety first. <laughs> Reaches. Oh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do this. Um, <laughs> do it. TC ties you up. <laughs> that was much better. From behind. Uh, yeah, around under the armpits and mm -hmm. snug. I got. I got. It, well. I got it. I got it. I'm gonna bring out the okay, robe. Perfect. I'll tie. Kate will tie Great. up Ilian. All right, she's gonna ready? hand, so we hand have two of you tied, tied with the. I'm yep. gonna hand you the hook, the grappling hook with the and the rope. Okay, so that you can do the fishing. I feel very ridiculous, but hopefully this works. Move slowly. I always go slow. I'm gonna put the grappling hook kind of like hooked around my neck so that it hangs and I can have both hands to go down. Okay, I think I like that. Is there something going on between you two? I'm sorry. Nothing. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Doesn't matter. So the two Tyroons creeping down the ladder, now Good. Good. Uh, armor having been uh, yes. doffed, so that you make a little less noise as you continue yeah. to move. Slippery Tyroon. <laughs> Slowly, who is going first? Because there's only you can only go one person at a time on the ladder. I will go first. Great. Doxley works her way first. Slowly, you put your feet on the rungs. You sort of get at head level, so just your chin is above the surface. You give everyone kind of one last look, and then you start to descend once more. Morna's at the top with, with Kate and I yep. still, yeah? Mm -hmm. It seemed like they were going to do it anyway, and I'm just here to help save them. Sure. <laughs> I think it would be pretty cool to, to see something magical. Well, you see this ring. Is it pretty cool? I don't want to yeah. see <laughs> Do I hear that? I mean, it's the sounds of ladders, like the ladder creaking as you move down. Both of you can be stealth checks. Okay. Keep, keeping um, the rope kind of taut. You know? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. You can feel it. <sighs> I'll, I'll be sort of behind each of you guys, just sort of. Okay. Stealth right. checks for both yeah. of my. Stealthy. 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 Okay. Is that, is that cocked? It's cocked. Okay. It's cocked. Okay. Okay. It's cocked. Okay. I mean, it wasn't a bad roll anyway. Seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. <sighs> Start to descend. That's, that's not great. <laughs> Doxley moving. Pretty swiftly down the ladder, you've you both already kind of made this trip already. So you know where some of the weak spots are and the foundation of the wall. As you're moving down, however, you also do pass by a couple of those spots where the worm like burst through the wall and then recovered its tracks that are now kind of cracked stone built into the wall there. And you can also see that some of that cracked stone used to be kind of an anchor point for the ladder. So as you're moving past that, it just has a little kind of give to it that almost kind of bends one way and the other. You get further and further down. Doxley moving quickly and quietly, and 
Ilian trying to follow behind, but as he gets to that part where it just is a little separated from the wall, you do hear another one of those groans. You are both. Yeah, how far did we get down? So Doxley has now reached the first platform here. Your feet touch down in the wood. You look up, see Ilian climbing down. You can see faces over the edge of TC, Kate, Morna, all sort of watching you go down. All of you heard that low groan there, even from the top. It's very quiet up there. Um, as Doxley lands on the first level, she'll look up to Ilian and try to get his eyes. Um, you stay here, I'll go down. <laughs> <laughs> For podcast listeners, he got it. Um, and I'll start quietly trying to go down, down on that platform. ladder number You two. look over to your right and you see that row of pickaxes there, those sort of crystal-laden pickaxes, perhaps the brainchild of the wild card Spencer Stott. You go down to the second ladder there. Now this one, a little more difficult because behind you, the rope with the, actually, did you leave the bucket up top? Yeah, the bucket's up there. Still. Great, so this rope here that there is not there. Okay. So you start to move down, passing by another one of those lanterns there. We're creeping down further. Give me another stealth check. And while I'm waiting on there, is there a thunderstorm pickaxe I can just pick up? To hold you would have to get off the platform. You would have to like move a little bit uh, this way, like they're over here. I'll do it. Okay. Give me a stealth check. Come on, buddy. All right. Okay, 17. 17. Doxley? Um, 11, I think I'm gonna use inspiration. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. 14. 14. As you start to descend, just after sort of giving Ilian the stop, you start to move down. You almost slip for a moment and catch yourself. You look back up and you see Ilian creeping over to the kind of side here. (laughs) 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 Unable to make, he's already kind of off the ladder there, moving over to the side. (laughs) Doxley, you continue down. Your feet touch the platform on the lower level. And below you, with some of these lanterns still lit, you can see some of the light reflecting off the water, some of the ripples. Do I see the bracer at all? Give me a perception check. It's There's no light uh, that's direct enough that's sort of give you a crystal clear look. Okay, uh, 17. 17. Because the bracer uh, was like, got taken out of the bones or away from the pile at the bottom and then dropped on top. It's kind of sitting on top. There's other bones down there. You see like a, maybe a piece of armor that she had, but it looks very mundane, like a non, like clearly non-magical mundane piece of armor, but you can see sort of resting atop and sort of bent on the side is that multi-pieced bracer, bracer. That... <sighs> She's gonna grab the rope, slowly get it off her neck. She's gonna hold out the grappling hook and with two hands just slowly start to feed it down nice and in the center of the whole pit mm-hmm. to not hit any. So it touches the water. <sighs> Sinks. You let the you just let the weight of the sort of metal end uh, of the grappling hook just sink. You you don't even feed it yourself. You just let it lie. It gets down further in the water. Oh, it seems to be kind of about at the level where that bracer is. And Ilian, you've also slowly crept over to that first pickaxe there on that level. I just want to get back to a place where I, now holding that, can see Doxley. Uh, great. When you go to grab the pickaxe, oh my god, give me a sleight of hand check. I need Doxley also. To, oh, I'm sorry. Doxley, I need also to give me a sleight of hand check as you try to thread the grappling hook to the bracer. Oh my god. Sixteen. Seven. As Doxley gets the grappling hook just through the bracer, you thread it in and you can feel it and you like even kind of smile to yourself. You start to pull and just as you're pulling up, you hear again a groan and you look up to see if you can see Ilian and immediately in that moment, oh shit. 
Next to the Thunderstones? Don't say that. I... <laughs> I wanted to grab one and throw it if you got in trouble. I wanted to make a big you noise. You take 15 bludgeoning damage. Okay. With no armor, right? No armor. No armor? Yeah, so it doesn't get reduced for yeah. the heavy armor master. As you take that hit, you hit the ceiling and you start to fall back down to the floor and you can see the Thunderstone pickaxe falling because it kind of fell out of your hand and it looks like it's about to fall. The, there's like a domino effect. All the pickaxes. Oh, oh my. Give me a, uh, a sleight of hand check to see if you can grab. Give me a dumbass check, you <laughs> dumbass. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. 20, let's go. Oh. <laughs> 19. 19. You grab the first pickaxe that prevents most of the domino falling, but they still kind of tick, 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 and the last pickaxe in the row, there's probably like 12 of them, just <laughs> Immediately, rubble starts falling from the ceiling. There, you have the the thing on the end of the oh, grappling whoa. hook. <gasps> what the all the way out. Fuck? But you can hear the whole place kind of rattles. There's like a thunderous oh boom. I'm gonna hear that and start to tug. tug. Yes, I'm looking over at dogs. Okay, you can, I'm pulling, you can I'm pulling, feel I'm like them tugging oh. on the rope. <laughs> Are you working your way back up? Uh, if do I have it in my hands, you right? You have it in your okay, hands. Okay, yeah, yeah, holding on, God. fucking tight. Okay. Letting right. them pull me up. Yeah. 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 If he don't, he's starting to climb, I will start to climb. Okay, too. both yeah. of you give me. Uh, are you trying to just do so quickly or are you trying to do so quietly? Just quickly. Okay. Quickly, yeah, quickly. Give me athletics checks. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Hey, <laughs> oh my god. Okay. 23. 23, 16. 16. Ilian, you, as you, you lost sight of him for a moment as you were looking down because he went to the side. And when he re emerges, <laughs> you see the look of panic on his face and you oh can my god. see him. <gasps> like wheezing and breathing heavy as he's pulling his way up the ladder. <gasps> and he throws up that one pickaxe that you had in your hand. Like that's the first arm that oh. goes up. <gasps> I would have left it down. Oh, you want to leave that yeah. one? Oh, okay, sorry. I yeah, I want to leave one with you. Great, yeah. leave that behind. Know, Come man. all the way back up. <laughs> and Doxley, you get to that, um, so we ascend a little bit here. <laughs> you get to this <sighs> level. You get to the top of that ladder. <sighs> You pull yourself onto the platform, you look off to your right, and you just see <laughs> all the rubble falling from the ceiling. Shit. You see the line of pickaxes all having fallen down one after the other. You get to the next part of the ladder. <laughs> Give me one more athletic oh, check. Oh, Does it oh, help oh, that we can, And can I'll be at the top at the Another edge. advantage, but it is helping. Oh no. Uh, a 10. 10, just as Doxley gets to the very uh, tippy come on, top. Come on. There's one more groan. You guys grab her wrists and you're like pulling her up. Uh, and in that moment, uh, like it, Doxley's legs like kung, 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 either side uh, as she gets hit uh, by it. Uh, you don't take the full brunt of it. Okay. Oh but you God. still take 11 bludgeoning damage. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. And then you guys all uh, pull Doxley up to the top. And just as you're pulling her up b below her, you can see the worm went from one wall to the other wall, like it just went straight through to the other side, and then all the rock sort of pulls itself together. I am a fucking idiot. I'm, I'm, I'm so Stupid sorry. Bastard. I, I, what were you thinking? I thought if I had this pickaxe and it would explode, I could throw it oh somewhere and it distract. It exploded. I know. I wasn't expecting it explode in, in my hands. Place. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I was just trying to help. Uh, I, I'm, I'm a fucking idiot. Did you get the thing? To reach into yeah. yeah. God. Oh. You fucking got it. Was my idea of any help? Oh, I was like a little fisherman down there, buddy. Oh. Yeah. Thanks for the hook. Good. I'll return your equipment to you. Oh. Is there still a mine down there? Oh. It has Bronx. not collapsed. <laughs> that tunnel might be dangerous to walk through. That one that's kind of blue there. Ugh. But uh, oh, let me come out with that. But uh, as if you peek down the hole, it's not like the whole thing is is falling apart, collapsing. Are you sure? all right? I'm fine. Yeah. Um, Good God. That was quick. You didn't get much chance to look for a whole lot of items, did you? No, I just got the one that I knew was there. Does it? You want to go back down and look again? Not right now. Not right ever, Mr. Welker. God damn. <laughs> Deception checks for everybody. <laughs> 16. 13. Oh, damn. Um, that is 15. 16. 7. 16. 
Kate and Ilian, as you sort of sit there gathering yourself, sort of calming yourself, feeling un- Ilian now having taken two hits. You took that first one with the armor and you were like, holy shit, that was bad. And then you took one without armor and you were like, oh my God. <laughs> as you guys are just kind of looking around, sort of re- taking deep breaths, trying to calm yourself, a gust of wind kind of comes through and a small kind of shower of embers is lifted from the brazier. It's been sort of lit this whole time and the wind blows through a little scattering of the embers. And as the lights trickle down toward the ground, it draws your eye kind of into the distance around you, where another source of distant light is flickering between the trees to the northeast. It's raised a little bit off the ground, higher than head level, it looks like, bobbing up and down as if carried. And between its height and the speed at which it's rising and falling, You have an inkling that it might be someone on horseback, perhaps coming to relieve or check in on the man that is currently resting beneath a foot of rubble down below. (laughs) Immediately, you're worried that the brazier's illumination may have highlighted like your silhouettes. Like you're confident you can't make out details from this distance, but if you're standing between, if the brazier, you and him, like he could see maybe a little silhouette just that the light is making. The distant light starts to close fast. You see it kind of pick up in speed. And it's still a couple hundred feet off at this point. I'll talk to him. What? Who? What are you talking about? No talking. There's there's someone. Fucking run. Get in the fucking woods. Get out of here. Get out of here. Kate is going to take off into the woods. I just grab my armor. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll help Ilian grab his armor and I will also run. Great. Question about like the the quick landscape of like the entrance to this mine. Mm -hmm. Is all of it stone and is the surrounding like uh, um, landscape kind of like gravelly or is it like dirt? Um, dirt. Uh, w- sorry, what part were you asking? Is stone? Uh, like the main entry, like uh, the thing that's above ground. Yes, it's mostly the wood. Hut. Okay, yeah. the hut. Okay, yeah. wood. Mm-hmm. Um, and and then there's no like rocks to the surface. That's all dirt. No, stuff. it's pretty much it's like hard compacted dirt. Yes. Okay, it's not it's not particularly rocky. As we're scattering here, Wes pointed out a specific spot where he had the popping thing, right? Vaguely. He was like, it's over there somewhere. Mm. He didn't know exactly And that's not where near where we approached from. Possibly not, given that you didn't step, nobody stepped on anything during their approach here. All right. Back exactly the way we came. There might be still more of that popping shit. All right. All right. Let's, Let's go, go over to the woods. As you saw on the way here, there isn't a ton of tree coverage in this part of the valley. It's pretty open, but immediately everyone's kind of looking around. If you disperse into the darkness, you may be able to disappear before somebody learns any identifying features or anything. Sorry, you were about to ask something. Uh, No, I think I'm going to try to throw something down there to keep that stupid rock worm like active so that maybe okay. if the horseback guy sure. what arrives. Would you like to throw? Um I mean is there like any larger rocks that would make some large like noise or should I give the buckets up here? Mm. Oh okay, yeah. I'll just like up over my head and try yeah, to hit as many light. like ping pong it down the You see right as everyone's scattering into the woods there, Doxley rears back and t- tosses the bucket and you know not trying to not make noise, you can hear it boom 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 yeah. and immediately in response as you're turning you hear those sort of groaning noises. And she's gonna like kind of, with her feet, just try to quickly get any of the like uh, tracks that are right outside of this hut, like to just kind of scrape up the dirt a little bit. Sure. Just um, whatever small. You can know. do so. Th- there's a lot of footprints around okay. here. There was six, uh, five, six, seven people sort of walking through. There was also footprints that might have uh, belonged to like the guard that was here too. Okay. So the, the fact that there is footprints isn't necessarily. Okay. Is everyone oh, scattering? As much foliage, yeah. Can I find yeah. enough foliage to mask of the wild? You can, Just, indeed. And can I cunning action hide? You can. So as you guys are <laughs> moving <laughs> into the woods, <laughs> none of you can hide like behind the same tree. There isn't yeah. enough. Yeah. So immediately everyone like everyone's going off in a slightly different direction. You kind of scatter off a little bit. So everyone <laughs> gets behind trees. Sometimes as you look over and you see a good opportunity, someone will Mm-hmm. We'll run to the next tree. Everybody mm-hmm. give me stealth checks. Uh, both of you can give it with advantage. So straight for me. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. So did, if I'm carrying my armor. I'm, and I'm carrying the armor. You're okay alien. for now. Okay. Yeah, you're okay for now. Uh, so, sorry, what was the check? I'm... Uh, stealth check. Okay. 19. 19. 19 as well. 15. <laughs> 21. <laughs> Deer drop? 
It's not one. Not one. Oh, 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 oh. As, is as Morna is running, you're carrying some of Ilian's armor. Is yeah. that what you're yeah, yeah, as you're carrying it. At one point, you trip over. I said there was a lot of those like stick, uh, roots that are above ground. Yeah. You trip on one of those and cling, 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 like some of Ilian's run armor back. scatters. Run back. You run back to Morna. Help her pick up the pieces of the armor, and you get yourself back up. You look over your shoulder. Oh my God. How close? Uh, still a couple hundred feet off. Oh, okay. You can okay. tell that the person is, as they're getting closer to where they think some of these shadowed figures are, you can tell they're a little trepidatious. Like, they don't want to run into an ambush of a bunch of people. So they, at one point, they, like, pull up the horse and look, and then get a little closer and mm. look. Like, they're okay. trying to see who's there without getting themselves into a tight spot yeah, yeah, yeah. here. So you gather okay, your things. Grab my shit. Yeah. I'm going to run, yeah, run, 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 run. So everyone's kind of behind a tree at this point. Everyone's waiting. <laughs> you can hear the horse. The two people that were closest to the back, Morna and Ilian, you're kind of separately but up against two trees and the light starts to pour Oof. kind of past you as you can feel the lantern getting closer. He gets past the two trees that you guys are at. Oh. But gonna... he hasn't seen. Yes. Rotating <laughs> around. Yeah, yeah. Give me stealth checks. Come on. You got this, Deirdre. I believe you win this. You win this. You go first. Okay. Try to get her to use my deck. Oh, uh, okay. That is... Um... That's a 16. That's a 16. God. At one point, there's like a little and he thinks he hears something. And it's right as he's trying his absolute best to stay perfectly silent. You can even hear him kind of calming the horse. He hears a sound coming back from My dummy. <laughs> <laughs> back from the shaft and he starts to ride back in the direction of the mine shaft there. Ilian and Morna, who have rotated all the way around, yeah. finally get back around so you're looking at each other. <laughs> let's go, let's go. You kind of catch up to the rest of the group there. Everybody give me one more round of stealth checks with Ooh. advantage. Okay. Ooh, lucky. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Hey, 12. 22. Net 20, let's go. Ooh. 12. 13. Everybody running. <laughs> Finally, that lantern in the distance, it looks like you see it get kind of placed. It becomes stationary, like it was bobbing the whole time and it becomes stationary. And now you, looking way off into the distance, can see the silhouette of the man looking down the mine shaft there. <sighs> you guys have reconvened. <sighs> <clears throat> well, maybe let's just call it a day. Dinner? I think, <laughs> I think I'm gonna go to bed. What? You gotta eat something. Come on. <laughs> All right, we'll eat some food. Let's All go. right. All right. <laughs> you guys can walk. <laughs> Even with a little bit of time that you spent down below, which really wasn't that much time at all, the fact that you guys kind of sprinted there for a little while to get through the woods, you're walking along and you look up and where these woods start to uh, disperse and then turn into the civil road there that you guys deviated from to get here. You can see Rufus and Wes a little oh. bit in the distance, like off a little ways. You could easily not catch up with them if you didn't want to, but they're walking like you can see Rufus's like sort of hand around his son's shoulder, and the two of them are walking down this little road there. So if you, if you wanted to catch up, you could, but you don't have to. Perhaps we'll give them some family time. I think so. Unless anyone has any more pressing questions. I just want to know what this if this is important. Well, they don't know what the hell they are. The wife got them before they got here. I'm gonna have to re-explain this to you. No, I, I'm just, I want to wear it. And so I'm gonna slip it on my finger. You should bring it to the Monteros. Why do you say that? I feel like if someone is gonna know something about shiny magic things, it's probably them. Perhaps. I wouldn't. You wouldn't? Well. 
It doesn't matter what I would do. Um, I'm curious. I, I would value your opinion. I just would be careful with magical objects. They can be dangerous, right? They could also be Especially very if, useful. Well, what if we don't know how to use them? That's why we go and find someone who might know how. Hmm. Yes. She's gonna kind of go ahead. I can't. I can't see what the bracer is because. How long does the one thing... turn? Yeah. Oh. So, yeah. I can't see what it is, so I'll have to check it in the morning. <laughs> I imagine anyone we do have look at it will want to know its origins. Is the story there that we got it off of a corpse in the down wheel? Absolutely. Not a technical lie. You are in the down wheel. Right. Mm. So you're coming back. And yeah. if anyone finds a lead, come get the ring from me. I, it's not, I don't feel like it's, I must have this. Uh, so, uh, until I'll, we know what it is. My only thought is that uh, Maeve deals with the arcane in some ways. I don't know whether she can identify anything, but. Might be something there. One of the Monteros. Or someone else. But, um, that was good. That was fun. Yeah, mm. that yeah. was fun. Yeah. 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 I'm sorry for being yeah, a fucking fucking idiot. Yeah, don't fucking do that again. Yeah, I'm sorry. I won't do that again. <laughs> <laughs> As you guys are working your way back to town, I can do this now, which I waited to do, just in case uh, you guys went back into the mine. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Some inspiration <laughs> to wow. award. Oh. What? There was a dual inspiration for the two people that entered the Civil Road mineshaft and avoided disturbing the rock corner, <laughs> which I can no longer give to Doxley oh. because she did disturb the rock corner. Oh no! Damn. <laughs> Unfortunately, so Kate, oh. the only oh, one who sure. not disturbed the rock I got the magic item, so I'm second. Uh, yeah. We. Uh, uh, yeah, I think uh, we're sharing it. Uh, it's I joint custody. Uh, I get it on whose Monday. idea? <laughs> <laughs> I get it on Monday. Monday, Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> Good vibrations, the name of the achievement. Oh, also, if you want to use our God. cool achievement so cards. Cool. Oh, yeah. Well done. What does it um, say? It says. Yeah, you can read it. It says exploration. An There's exploration a little. Exploration achievement. Yeah, whether it's combat, <laughs> exploration, or social. Good vibrations. Enter the Civil Road mine shaft and avoid disturbing the rockworm with a failed stealth check. Nice. <clears throat> Man, I well was done. so Yay, close. In addition. <laughs> There's another inspiration, this, regardless, uh, there's a social one called Maybe Grandma Ain't Crazy. <gasps> Obtain the Yarpaya Locket and find out who it originally belonged to. Oh, yeah. wow. Maybe Grandma Ain't Crazy. Yeah, what about for the person who gave it to him? Grandma Ain't Crazy. Come on, buddy. That's pretty cool. We're gonna keep it right here. No oh, way. I hate it. I hate <laughs> it. Grandma with me. I hate it. As you're on your way back to town along the civil road, you're able to take in the sights and surroundings a little better as you're no longer trying to match Rufus's kind of accelerated pace. As you follow in the footsteps of the Macklin caravan that set out from Merlai, you look around and you realize the only person not present who made it this far initially is Gujek Claiborne. You see Rufus and Wes in the distance, all of your companions around you. So the only missing face here is Gujek and you know, the people that didn't quite make it this far. Right. It's funny the way that passengers sort of form a greater bond through shared experience and especially shared distress. With so much open space out here under the endless sky, you'd love to on a different day just borrow a horse and just ride. Riding for hours, letting the hills guide you. Perhaps taking pleasure in the fact that when you look up, it's only the stars looking back. Nothing divine at all. Soon enough, however, you hear the creek, you see the lights of town. First Crenshaw's West End Smithy, then a little bit of trusted timber, and then the rest of town opening up. Right before they step foot on the bridge, and again, they're a little bit in the distance, you can see that Rufus stops, the two of them stop, and they look toward the graveyard, where there's still a lantern hanging on the porch of the mortuary, and he sort of grabs his son's hand tight, he grabs Wes's hand, and you can see him sort of And he ushers Wes kind of back into town. And he takes, I think it was, was it just the skull that was left of the items? I think that one were, skull and an arm. It's still on one other bone. So you can see he has two kind of bones in his hand, sort of tucks them under his arm. And he looks like he's looking into the sort of graveyard, just sort of considering whether he wants to kind of go there now 
mm. sort of stopped on the bridge. If you continue walking, you will sort of run into him, or you could sort of wait. So you see him there stopped. On the I'll I'll stop. Yeah. And I'm see stopping. if everybody else does. Yeah. Why are we stopping? I'm giving Rufus some time. Ah. Unless you feel like you have any advice for him. That he's the only thing his son has left, and he should stay a little sober. That's all. I wonder if they'll stay in town. I wouldn't. I suppose that's why they came, right? Is that what they said? Mm-hmm. It's a dangerous place for Wes. He seems to like it here, though. Should we ask him what he's thinking about? I'm sure he has a lot on his mind already. Takes a few steps in the direction of the graveyard there. He is slowly. headed towards the yeah, graveyard. Slowly. Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. Very slowly. He looks like he kind of peeks over to see if there's someone still there at the mortuary. He sees the light. He walks in there. Just walks watch in. him. Walks all the way up to the door of the mortuary. Now you guys can get a little closer without mm-hmm. being seen there. You get up to the bridge there. Are there the any fla- wild flowers or like anything? There are, like especially that? growing kind of uh, on the riverbank of the creek there. There's, okay. you know. I'm going to start to. Nothing too fancy, but. Uh, start to gather a bouquet. Sure. While I watch him go in there. Um, should I go grab us a table at the chop house, perhaps? Love to share a meal with all of you before we call it a day. I can barely keep my eyes open. Don't Honestly, rob us of your company, T. You haven't tried their seafood stew. It's just one. Supper? You look like a fellow who likes fish. How did you know? A quick meal. All right. I'll go with you. Let's go. All right. We'll grab a table. Um. Okay. Yeah. I'll I'll catch up with you. Great. I'll I'll go with you. Okay. Great. No need to stay behind. Guys, start crossing over the bridge. Your boots thump, 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 on the hollow bridge there. It stays behind. You have the flowers in your hand. Yeah, I'm gonna like walk a little closer and just sure. Give me a perception check. Okay. Mm. Eighteen. Eighteen. He gets up to the porch of the mortuary there, and it looks like he knocks on the door. Somebody opens the door. There's an elven woman there that he speaks to, sort of older elven woman, and it. The gist that you get from sort of the exchange, you can see him hold up the bones. You can see her sort of rebuff him politely, almost as if to indicate that she doesn't want to take them right the second. He kind of appeals to her a little bit. She reaches out, she takes them, and then she sort of holds a hand out and makes a motion that maybe she's not gonna do anything right now, but that she'll hold on to the bones or keep them safe Mm -hmm. there. She takes them inside. She sort of wishes him a good night, Mm -hmm. closes the door, disappears. So he has handed off the bones and Mm -hmm. you can see him Wait for him to sort of make it back to the main road sure. and yeah. then gets up. No grave yet, but I bet she was an amazing woman. She was. Ain't gonna be no burials tonight. But I took her bones to Miss Sorrell, she might be able to clean him up a bit, get him looking right. Do you think you guys will stay in town now? I don't know. I don't think so. Not sure there's much for us here. We came what we did what we came to do. Maybe somewhere safer for your family. When I speak at her grave tomorrow, y'all's names are sure to come up. One of the last things that I did before we made the trip to Brunk Hollow was attend a service at our church. Sermon was all about looking out for each other. You know, a sense of community. But that kind of talk dries up real quick when there's someone in the fold and stirs the pot. They never really liked Cordelia all that much. 
and they didn't lift a finger when she needed it the most. There's plenty of assholes in Brunk Hollow, but there's also people that ain't cowards. Nice to be among those folks. Tell Wes you said goodnight. He said to do the same. Tell him to stay out of trouble. Yeah. <laughs> I'll try. You too. Thanks. Hope you all made it back safe. Safe travels. Nobody, uh, you can see there's a little trepidation in him asking. Nobody fell down the well. No, <laughs> everyone's fine. A little beaten up, but but fine. I figured you wouldn't have spent some time picking flowers <laughs> if somebody was <laughs> trapped in a hole back there. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm rather fond of those lugs. I saw that they grabbed my wife's ring. And I don't want it. We've been staying at the gnome tents, rented a tent up there, and... There's somebody I only know because we walk by his tent. Uh, his name's Oslo. He's a, I guess, a tinkerer. Mm -hmm. I, I don't really know what he does, but if there's anyone who'd know what that does, that's who I'd ask. Absolutely. Well, I hope... Just do me a favor and don't tell me what it does. Oh, God. Yes, sir. I know what it did to this family. Well, your family is very strong and very full. Hmm. And if I don't see you before you leave, it was nice to meet you. You as well. Good night. Good night. Goes over the creek. Where do you have? <laughs> Back into town, yeah. Like a, little, a little deep breath, is, let, him, let him let him go off first and yep. just kind of wander around for just a bit. Works his way slowly into town. Slowly the, 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 it's not so late that the thoroughfare doesn't have, you know, lots of people still in it, so you watch him kind of disappear amongst the crowd. Some people walk in front of him, some people, yeah. someone recognizes him, sort of nods to that person. You just mm -hmm. watch him sort of assimilate yeah. in there. She's gonna kind of, Kate's gonna think about, a little bit about her family. Um, and a little bit about how not close they are. Um, think about what she's gonna do maybe later tonight, tomorrow, um, before heading back. Okay. Sort of reversing time a little bit to follow the rest of you into town. And as you'd expect, kind of moving through the thoroughfare, any place that doesn't serve either booze or food is really no longer open for business. Though that doesn't mean that nobody's home. You can see the door to Narvo's C&C is slightly ajar. There's a dim light in the windows. And on the opposite end of the street, Josie has the assistance of two other people, two other, one human, one dwarf, and they're hoisting beams and wooden frames into a wagon bed. And then kind of tying them down into the wagon bed. And you can see that Again, there's more of these, you saw this before. It looks like, if not all, most of the parts of this crane are, are ready to oh work God. their way up to the dig site. Like they're oh. packing them up. What's that for? <laughs> <laughs> so you, you're the only one who kind of knows what it's for, but yeah. everybody sees that action sort of taking place there. You guys continue through the thoroughfare. You can hear the noise of the lucky heathen on your left as you're passing, a lot of cheers and... <laughs> Shouts and exclamations and cursing happening at the table. <laughs> Get a little breath. When, um, when you crossed the bridge, Kate said that there were several men who survived. I was surprised to hear it. Oh, uh, earlier. Yes. Um. Yeah, there was, I believe they only said one man. Uh, the one that you spoke to was the only survivor. There were reinforcements that had arrived. Oh. And then the, the three, the three unaccounted for. I don't know if... Three prisoners, yeah. yeah. Oh. You say the one that we spoke to survived. Yeah, uh, well, we were worried about you two, seeing the state of the bridge. 
and Doxley sort of made a scene. Yeah, I, I'm just <laughs> curious because we we spoke to a number of people. Uh, one person when we first got to the bridge, uh, mm-hmm. one halfway down, and then another sent me on my way. You don't know. He he was a uh, he's a human, right? Yeah. Did, did I give a description or I did you did. <laughs> Racking my brain. Yeah. Uh, and, and he I... was a guard, human man, red, medium, long hair, mm-hmm. yeah. some tattoos on his shoulders. Ah, yes. Tattoos on his shoulders. Would I know the red hair guy? Um, I don't know the tattoos at all, but. So. You got up real close to him. Yeah, yeah, so the description that they give you, which is loose, sounds pretty familiar. Yeah. And uh, forgive me, is this the guy that was right near her when she first. No. No. Off, that guy's was, dead. No. This is that the one that dead. came and Assistant. saved might be saying too much, okay. but yeah, came to assist briefly on that end of the bridge. And then said and, run. And yeah. it was very, you know, That's saw both guy? of us. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, so we kind of pick up on that. All right. Sure. Uh, yes, that, yeah, it seems like one of the ones that uh, uh, told us to run, and we did. Well, I'm happy he survived that. Oh, yes. I'm... Did you get a name? I don't believe so, no. Mm. I know he's from Unesia, but that's about it. Mm. How do you know he's from Unesia? Those tattoos? Yeah, they're like a merchant guild tattoo. Does that sound familiar to me? It does, but I, um, uh, give me a history check. Um, yeah, I'll describe them. He's not mm-hmm. nice, Rossi. <laughs> it's not, uh... Um, okay, that is a minus, so it's a 10. A 10? It does sound kind of familiar. You're not entirely sure. What you glean from it and what you assume is that it's a merchant's guild of mildly ill repute mm-hmm. because you feel yes. like you would know some of the more reputable <coughs> ones. So the fact yeah. that you don't immediately recognize it is already a bit of a, a flag that okay. points you in that direction. Um, why do you ask? I just, it looked was, so desolate. There I was were many surprised men. to hear her yeah. say that there were many who survived, and one makes more sense. I'm glad to hear of it. Sounds like quite a battle, um, the way that you painted. Um, if it had only been that first wave of sea creatures, we might have stayed and helped finish them off, but it didn't seem to be a single wave. They do come in waves. Got it? I did. Punning. Yeah. You didn't laugh. No. Okay. So moving a little further up ahead, you can see that a healthy crowd has (laughs) gathered around that evening bonfire that always is there that takes the place of the uh, the open market. (laughs) Good times. Good memories. You do not see Polly there. She seems to have relocated her drinking elsewhere. She's behind one of the logs. (laughs) (laughs) However, among them are some people you recognize, though not necessarily friends or pillars of Broncalo. You see the face of an elven man with shaggy red hair that was in the Paramount kitchen when Ace came to pick you up. You just sort of recognize oh, that yeah. face. You don't know who that is, she didn't tell you. You see Sherman, the pelt peddler, who has his aversion to goblins, who was sort of fighting with the goblin there uh, a couple days ago. And TC and Morna, you can pick out the two gnomes that were selling those cold treats at the market, those uh, snowy treats, they're sitting there as well. They're a little, again, not extravagantly dressed, but upscale dressed, like they stand out a little bit just because they're not wearing sort of working, laboring rags. There's a quiet murmur that grows a little louder as you get closer, a mixture of laughter, tale-telling, lamenting, playful banter, while the warmth of the flames soothes tired minds and aching bones. The welcome confines of Paramount are just off to your left, and it's there that you hope to bring the day to a close. But before that, people wishing to take a bite, last minute things to take care of. Haven't made it there yet. Were you like speeding up to catch up a little bit? No. Uh, Okay, then you can see them in the distance, like approaching the bonfire and you're just back a little bit. So where you are is what I was describing before. Off to your right, you see a few people loading sort of big wooden beams and pieces into a wagon. Mm -hmm. To your left, you haven't been there yet, but you recognize the entrance as the sort of uh, courier's office there. So that's where Uh, you're passing by at the moment. Um, You passed by Crenshaw's, which you had been to before this. Mm -hmm. Um, Seems food is limited, but maybe Kenzo has something cooking up. 
I thought you said the chop house. It's closed, right? It does look like it's open. Oh, places that have food and booze look to still be open. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> You're confusing my brain. Uh, sorry. It's late at night. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Chop house, let's go. All right. All right. TC, you have to get that chowder. It's really good. I can't as, wait. As a fellow piranha, lead me to it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and place the spoon in my hand. <laughs> All right. I will. <laughs> Is Unesia by the ocean? Is it what? Is the Unesia by the ocean? Um, there's a very large river that feeds into an ocean, okay. but it, the city itself is not like uh, on the shore. Okay. That's not what we were talking about. Why, Jess? I'm just curious because of the <laughs> sea chowder. I'm just curious. I'm trying to get a lay of the land. <laughs> chowder. You guys head in through the doors and into the sort of warm confines, the interior. Some of you have not been here before yet, I believe, into... Uh, no. Y- yeah, haven't, haven't been, been to the chop house yet. It's dying down a little bit in here. It seems most people's nighttime activities usually takes them over to the music box or the Lucky Heathen. It's a little more drinking games uh, activity oriented, but still a good healthy group of people here. They're seating both on the lower level and on that upper balcony that you guys sat at with Nile. There's some of the, that buffet style table on the left side, some of them have been covered up, like either they're empty or they're getting ready to kind of pack things up for the evening. However, there's a few things with sort of large ladles sticking out of them, a number, like three or four different soups, a couple other things. Wow. (laughs) The sights and smells coming at you in waves. Is this a seat yourself kind of place? Yeah, I believe so. I shall find one. All right, <laughs> I'm right behind you. I'm gonna go and look for a spot. Sure, there's, there's seats. plenty of tables. Okay. Yes, you can grab a table easily. Um, Lower level, upper level, do you care? Upper level. Upper <laughs> level it is. Uh, you can see TZ kind of point. There's a couple tables where if you sat, you could look over the railing there and see down below. Did you guys come with? Yeah. Bring me the best so, of the best, will ya? I'm, I'm thinking, <laughs> there's four soups. We each get one and we can try them all and see which ones are the best and rank them up. Oh, that sounds delightful. All right, yeah? <laughs> yep, that sounds great. I will go get us four different stews. I can assist you. Okay. She'll go down. I will join TC and make sure he stays awake. Okay. <laughs> hey, welcome to the chop house. Thank you. Uh, what can I get for you? Uh, just one of the different soups, the four different ones. Sure, okay, we've got uh, boiled bluefin, mm. boiled bluefin soup. Uh, we have, uh, we call it blackened chimera, it's sort of a mixture oh. of a few things. Huh. There's no chimera. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, All right. But uh, it's spicy, so if you like mm. it spicy, you can have a little bit of that. It's TC. <coughs> Wake them up. We have uh, veggies, sort of a uh, leek stew, a leek uh, mm-hmm. boiled broth, mm-hmm. and then the last thing on the menu is a snap pea chowder. Um, All right. I'll take the bluefin. Uh, Oh, I guess we'll get one of each, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, Yeah, we are. (laughs) Um, All right. Uh, It's just uh, three silver each, so uh, one gold, two silver. Uh, Great. Uh, I will. I will fork on the one gold. Oh, Uh, I'll I'll split. I knew the prices. I would imagine because we were here last night or something. So six silver. Yeah, I'll give you six silver. Huge. (laughs) (laughs) I'm rich. Nice. Gotta convert. Convert Oh, generous times to get. (laughs) Sorry. As returning patrons, mm. it is our duty. All right. You saw them disappear yeah. into the chop house? Uh-huh. Following, going somewhere else? Oh yeah, I'm gonna go join okay. them. Follow them inside. <laughs> you kind of enter and you can you guys see Kate sort of look around. Kate! <gasps> oh, problem. There's oh, we'll only go. four soups. Oh, okay, uh, I'll, get, I'll get one for myself. <laughs> okay, yeah. uh, there's a bluefin, chimera, not real chimera, vegetable leek thing, and snappy. Spicy is the chimera. I'll get an extra spicy. Okay, great. Uh, we're up on the top floor. Okay. Okay. Hey, uh, what can I get for you? One of the spicy ones, please. Camaro. It's a big spoonful, pours in. You see some chunks kind of spilling out of the ladle into the soup. It seems like a nice, Ooh. sort of hearty soup. Thank you. And uh, three silver. Thank, Thank you. Over. Enjoy. All right. Catch up. I'm excited. I'm run up the stairs. <laughs> All right. Slight of hand check. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> so, four soups, bluefin, mm-hmm. snap pea, Leek and something, and chimera. Leaking? Leek and, like a oh, leek, like a vegetable. Got it. And a chimera. And for extra you, chimera. And extra chimera. Mm. All right, on three. Ready? I'm sorry. What, what's happening on three? What are we doing Oh, you've never three? heard of a soup oh. race before? <laughs> <laughs> I, I just want to see everyone's faces when we all try the different soups. 
Okay. I'm very excited to see how these taste. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right here we go. This is like signaling to right. people that this happens all the time. Okay. Ready? All right. Okay. Three, two, one. A delightful <laughs> array of flavors <laughs> pours into your mouth. Oh, man. They're all very good. I mean, they clearly put a de compared to some of the stuff you've had at Paramount, which is perfectly serviceable. <laughs> this has is on a different level. I mean, just okay. the flavors they clearly yeah. put. Uh. It's a little more expensive too, but they put a lot of care into the meals, and it, it warms you up. The people, those of you, which is pretty much everybody who took some of those hits, you can feel it kind of going down your esophagus, and it almost feels like it's healing those bludgeoned parts. Parts of your body that got smacked around by the worm. Ah, blue, you gotta try it. Blue, blue fin. All right, all then pass, all it right down. pass it down. <laughs> all right, <laughs> great. <laughs> great. A nice uh, atmosphere of yeah. joviality here after some uh, grimmer uh, experience. Oh, they dance on my tongue. <laughs> yeah. A delight. Although I don't think the chowder that I was talking about is here, so we'll have to come back because that one was stupendous. Mm. Um, soupendous. Soupendous. It was soupendous. That was a good one. So many puns. <laughs> um. So, plans uh, for tomorrow? Were we all invited for that? Bison didn't really seem to give a shit if we all showed up or not. So, if you want to come and take a peek at this little statue there, right? Yeah. Your, 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 your oh. early morning plans? The statue? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You weren't there. Yeah, we're gonna go look don't, at the statue. Don't you know? <laughs> um. It's the statue. A... Everybody the statue. Knows. The one everybody knows about. Yeah. The big one from the secret meeting. Remind me. Yeah, yeah. I'm so tired, my mind, my mind wanders. Uh, I recall a number of statues. Which one in particular? Well, there's only one. Did no one tell you? There was a missing, possibly, statue from the middle of the Lucky Heathen. The... In, the, in the mine. A meeting. Uh, the, the, all the important people. He ah, clearly yes. has never <laughs> meeting. heard of a ah, meeting. Just meeting. Somebody please get You gotta make to some speed. more friends in town. DC. I told you it's been a long day. I, I, what happened at the meeting? Please enlighten me. That's uh, yada yada yada. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to hear it? You can't just yada yada yada. A <laughs> meet. All right. So would you like to relay? <laughs> what yeah, relay what we know. <laughs> okay. Do you do you DC. pretty much tell everything you know? I mean, I don't know it. Everything I know. Sure. Yeah. You hear about. The statue, you hear about the vote Count. that was held, that you know there were three options for the vote. You hear that it ended up voting in the way of bringing it up, even though it, it seemed like more people voted for to destroy it or keep it down there, but because that kind of split the vote, now they're, now they're voting to bring it back up. TC is like, it starts by, it, it's like slowly eating the soup, and as the story goes on, <laughs> it's like <laughs> scraping the ball, the ball like, oh. <laughs> I was uh, gonna have a little bit more of that one, but it's fine. I'll get another one. I, I could get another one from down. That's fine. Uh, so, do you want to come tomorrow? <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, thank you. Here's yours. Um, I, I suppose. I, I'm sorry, but this meeting is about identifying the statue. I have been volunteered to identify. Less about something I, I have no expertise in, and yet I have been volunteered. Wait, hold on, back up. You said you're a stonemason. Yeah, I am a stonemason. Right, so how am I? You're yeah. gonna look again. I'm not concerned about you identifying the stone. I wanted an excuse to go and see it for myself. Perhaps we'll learn something. I love the yes. idea. I do. Thank Sometimes you. lying is fun. I, okay. Or dangerous. <laughs> Why are we? We don't need to lie. We're. It's true. You're seeing the stone. I. Well, I will if, be able to identify the stone. Oh, but what good? Go. What good will it, will it be for me to say? Ah, yes, Mr. Bison. It is a soapstone statue. Well, that's when you lie about the importance of no, soapstone I statues. <laughs> wow. When? In what? No. You haven't thought about the do, idea. Do, do, does this place have alcohol? <laughs> it does. She's gonna well, go. I'll say Doxley would have gotten a bottle. Sure, you guys. Yeah. The, the special tonight was a golden fig mead. If that. Oh. 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 <laughs> um, oh. And perhaps when we're up there, we can all just. Mona, you're amazing. You I'm knew this, it. I, I knew you knew it. I don't care if Bison then thinks well, that Morna's the best fucking stonemason in all of the land. Morna's like totally normal stonemason thing for people to applaud when you. She's like. <laughs> It is limestone. Oh! No, no please do not do that. I right. just want to see it. Have you considered the option, not option, but the, the eventuality that 
What if she cannot identify it? And that in itself is Mr. very Welker, I... special because this is a new thing. Something that hasn't been discovered before. That a would be important. No one has discovered. Now is Perhaps that it's exciting? not made of stone. I really just don't care. I just want to fucking see it. So we'll we'll meet up in the morning. Okay. You're right. Yeah. All right. Great. I'm excited. Do you think this could be considered like, like a like contracting for bison? Yes. Uh, not if we're there. By the sounds of it, he wasn't exactly champ champing at the bit to have them down there. You kind of pushed the issue. You made it seem like. It would be good for him if we went down there. I offered our services and he said, come by. Very well. You all are trying to turn this very small puddle into a big fucking ocean of ideas. I literally just want to see it. I just feel like anything involved with that man potentially has the possibility to spiral out into something. We'll be fine. At the very least, it'll be a wonderful outing with some great friends. Uh, cheers. <laughs> She's gonna... <laughs> Doxley reaches for the bottle again and like it's the down to the last sloshes as everyone continues to put them away. <laughs> On that note, I thought of at some point using the information that we gained tonight as a way of Impressing Bison, but I think it's best that we leave off any information about tonight. What we found down there, that we went down there, any of it. Yes? Oh, God. Yeah. No, we cannot tell. One of his men is dead because of the boy. Right. Do we not think there will be negative consequences for him? Exactly. That's right. what I'm saying. We were nowhere near it. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't think that the ring or the bracer will give us away either. That is not something that I don't think that he or his man knew about. Yeah. That's fair. I mean, you hauled it out of the water, so unless somebody yeah, yeah. looked in there. I have an idea of where to take that. Already? And it's somewhere I was planning on heading tomorrow. Um, if you want to give it to me or if anyone wants to come with me. Well, where are you going? The gnome nook, no tents, nook. No I've heard it referred to as the gnome nook. The gnome nook is sort of what people call it, but you, people say the gnome because it's mostly tents. Like it's, it's what people say. I would gnome rather nook. say nook. You can. <laughs> the gnome nook. I would right. like to accompany you. Yeah, I'd like to go up there. Um, if we all make it out alive from Bison's thing, maybe we could go there. I'm next. not convinced. I want to go to Bison's. Oh, oh, you don't want to go see the statue? I'm just, I'm a little scared of him. I don't know. It's fair. Um, What's the mess scared of? You have us. Being seen cahooting with him. Okay. Strong people appear everywhere, and that's what we are. Strong people. Doing jobs here or there, think for ourselves. Doxley's <laughs> like, I don't think you understand. I don't <laughs> give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you, aside from this thing tomorrow, do you guys have many plans at all of things you need to get done? Uh, not many, just some. I will be happy to wake up tomorrow morning. <laughs> We're approaching there, TC. One step at a time. Um, but why I bring that up is, uh... <laughs> sorry. No, no, that's, that's Elliot's. <laughs> oh, yours, is, yours is there. Oh, wait, no, no this mine. is mine. <laughs> oh. That is mine. Where did that come hey. from? Uh, you, she handed it to you and you filled it up. And then I put it down. And then you put it down. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. Are you quite all right? so <laughs> As the clinking of bottles and glasses continues, as you continue to pour, you look over and there's like another guy who every time you pour a drink, he's like. Why don't you do this? Um, all right. Yeah. Just fucking have it. Thanks. The reason I, I bring this up. Um, <laughs> I think you made a new friend. I think we do too. Um, well, um, Please go on. Cheers. Uh, I apologize. No, no, it's great. Cheers. 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 <laughs> Cheers. Oh. oh that's colorful. So... Oh. Colorful locals. Oh, should we get him some water? Mm. He'll be fine. He's fine. Probably. Well, he's fine. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh. Anyways, I'm, I'm gonna get off track. Uh. The gnome nook. <laughs> The, uh, yes. the gnome book, uh, if, <laughs> will, I need to go up there as well. 
And I actually, I Great. want you all to come with me. If we're going up there for the ring anyways, I want to do a bit of exploring of a well that's up there, but I was told that there might be <laughs> monsters <laughs> uh, down there. Um, and I could go by myself, but... No, I, you will not go alone for monsters. Well, uh, spiders or things of the like. Uh, but Magnets, I want to go... you mean. Yeah, Bugs. actually. <laughs> <laughs> Bugs in general. <laughs> Uh, I think you'd be on umbrella term as well. <laughs> um, if you don't know exactly what it is. But I, I'd love to do that with all of you tomorrow. Uh, I don't actually... A full schedule? I don't know how long it will take. Or I was just told that underneath this well, sure. there are some caverns. I don't yeah, know how big it is. Let's do it. Let's all right, so in the morning, we're going to Bison's, and then we're going to go to the Gnome Nook. And then we're going down the well. And we're going down a, another well. I'm a little concerned how... I got my rope. I'm concerned how it might look. <laughs> Group's getting punchy. <laughs> Still got my rope! <laughs> the guy's like... <laughs> if you need to borrow any, sir. <laughs> you, my nose. <laughs> you look like you've pushed some rope in your time. <laughs> you, you should go tie him up. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him what you can do with that rope. I don't but... think he needs any uh, 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 any <gasps> help not being able to perform right now. Oh, <laughs> <God>. <laughs> <laughs> we should get that man some water. <laughs> uh, um, anyway, wow. yes, ex- an exciting dance card just filled to the brim. Who knows? <clears throat> yeah, well... <clears throat> Morna, <clears throat> Ms. Mori, weren't you in town looking for somebody? No. TC's like. <laughs> I was here as a stonemason. And. Oh? Uh, just, you oh. know. No, you said you were seeing a friend. Josie, I saw her. Oh, yeah. Oh. She's the one who told me about the statue. Oh yes, where did everyone hear about this statue if I heard it tonight? Everybody, everybody's talking about it. Um, <laughs> From connections they've made by being friendly to people. And TC's been very friendly to me tonight. <clears throat> TC, I learned that from Daphne at the Merc Hall. <laughs> <laughs> that is who I was originally trying to find it out for. Oh, That was my little test. Oh, but Well, she, she doesn't knows. know that I told you, so. I am a little late with my information. I did tell her that I would have it by last night. Does she won't like not that. own property in Broncolo? Didn't she go to the meeting? Property. Uh, what? I spoke to, to, to a, uh, what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> she owns property, I imagine, yes. Well, then she was invited to the meeting. She was at the meeting. She was at the meeting. It was a little, it was a little test know. for me, I believe. Oh. oh let's see if I could find it. Sounds I think like you did not pass the test. Right proper then. Anyway, easy. I've got other news. <laughs> Property. Mm-hmm. I spoke with a man today, a Mr. Cobb at Narvo CNC. And he, in the next week, also <laughs> is looking he uh, he built a place. It's up by the gnome nook. Maybe we shall see it. Cobb it travels. The gnome. He spoke with. No, 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 no. no. Oh. It's human. Different oh. Cobb. Uh, Cobb. Cobb is a common name. Is He's been sending mithril ore to his wife in Quran, and, 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 and he doesn't think that they will join him here in Bronkhall. That is all to say, he may be in the market to be selling his house. You want to move in together? <laughs> Is that what you're getting at? I don't no. have the funds right now to purchase a house. How many bedrooms? How many baths? I do not know as of yet. I did not inquire <laughs> the square footage. I don't mind having a roommate. I mean, it nice not paying at the Paramount. In any time. case, any other meetings that happen were that house to be purchased by one of us. In the next week, we could get invited to any further meetings. Ah, how or much all of us. Did he say the house? Again, I didn't inquire hmm. much further, but that is tomorrow. The offer was Josie. put out into the universe. <laughs> Josie told me about some land that was being sold next to her. And her next to her shop? Yes, yeah, 750, 750 gold. Did that include a house? No, just the oh, land. Shit. <laughs> it's not a bad price. 750? It's a lot of land. 
if we did the if we found two more people to go hunt trolls with, that would cover the down payment of that we funnel. Buy the house. And we buy the land. <laughs> <laughs> the house. The house. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. <laughs> This is very right. good. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Well, no, that's very interesting. I, that's definitely worth looking into. And okay. then we could all get a horse together. Don't you all One wanna... horse? You could get a horse right now, you realize that. <laughs> oh, yeah. How much is a horse? Less than a house, more than a drink. <laughs> Usually between 50 and 100 gold, depending <laughs> on the quality. Of the that is very funny. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you all have only been in Brunkhollow for... Three days, and you're already talking about owning property. No, I just merely mentioned it as a land uh, people are selling things. Yeah, I'd wait and make sure they actually like it here first. That is fair. Um, if, if I don't know how long we'll all be here, I guess paying the Paramount for a month would be a, less than purchasing a whole oh. house. It sounded like a good investment. Investment yeah. property oh, is a great sorry. idea. No, you haven't. No, you oh. no, you no. Oh. 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 Dribbled on. Yes. <laughs> no, I've split it with me. Do you want some of mine? No. Well, <laughs> there's none left, so I had I had two Guys drinks. Drain the bottle. Um, uh, sweet fig honey meat on your lips. <laughs> Not realize how fast you guys were charging through that. I, I barely had any. Um, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Shall I get another bottle? She's gonna. <laughs> No, I think we're fine. Oh. I think, I mean, it's up to you. Thanks. Oh, well. There you are. Uh, mm, I'm okay. <laughs> no, I'm fine. Really, thank you. Has everyone, added, has everyone added to the dance card, or does anyone have any other activity? My, I didn't say this earlier. My one worry is how weird it might look if five of us crawl into a well without a reason for it besides, I, that's just one thing that's in the back of my mind. But maybe if we come up with a reason. Any more weird What is it. your reason? Sorry, I missed in the beginning. We doing, we the well. There are some caverns underneath there that have, were uncovered um, and monsters have taken up thing, a uh, thing there. So if we could go clear out that. Is this a working <laughs> well? Huh? A working well. No. <laughs> Yeah, I think we are working well. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, that's why. <laughs> and you think so? Anyone will care if we decide to mm. splunk? Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe we just do it and. And is one any different than five? <laughs> when it comes to it's splunking uh, a closed well. Um. What are we spelunking for? Uh, uh, just, it's a cavern. I... So there is a contract to clear the monsters from there the well. There is not. Um, well, clear... So you wish to do it in an effort to clear <laughs> monsters? Well, no. Um, well, no. I want well, to yes. do it for another. TC goes over to the <laughs> to the drunk guy and goes, "Look over there," and just takes the bottle <laughs> out of his hand. <laughs> You are, <laughs> um, Why do you want to go in the well? Just spit um, it out, please. Yeah. Um, actually, it's kind of part of the reason I spoke to you earlier, TC. Mm. Um, maybe uh, this is a better conversation when we're more rested. But I no, I think we're feeling good. Okay. I have decided to trust all of you with uh, my with knowledge of my life and everything because I believe Alien. I believe you guys are all good people and uh, Doxley um, the reason I want to go into that well is I'm looking for uh, I'm looking for something and it had to do with that the word that's on the locket what word is on that locket um, I'm gonna take out the locket okay. and I'm, I'm not I'm gonna say um, there's no need to say it. <laughs> Oh but my. um take a take a look and I pass it over to Doxley and uh, show the word. I say um I'm kind of I'm I'm told that this cavern might have something that I'm looking for. Plus it might be good to rid some spiders of the vicinity for the safety of people and it's a twofer. Um 
but please, actually, now that I've keep this a, a secret just amongst friends, uh, this is <clears throat> important information for me. And if you find out any information about this, come tell me. I think they ought to know, and I don't know much more details than you, but there is a murder mystery involved <gasps> in this work. Yes. Yes. They ought to know that. I don't think I'm speaking out of turn. Here. No. Uh, is this why you came here? This is, uh, yeah. Is that true? Just, just... Make an insight check. <laughs> <laughs> um, Can I also make a... Yeah, sure. Mm. I have a pretty good idea. Eighteen. That... <laughs> Eighteen. I'm going to assume that Damn. he's telling the truth. It's a six. Six. I would say you get the impression that it is the primary reason that he came here and that it took a little bit of effort to say that in the sense that like he's probably told people other reasons why he came here, yeah. but, but that this maybe does seem like the reason. Does the Goryeonan know about this word? We'll be there for you, William. Thank you, Doc. Um, whew, that's, uh, it's been a night. So we can reconvene tomorrow. Is this the first time I've heard Goryeonan? I think it might be. Is it? Uh, I think it is. I mean, you have heard of that organization, for sure. And does that, does the name and the organization go together for what me. name their name oh their name yes <laughs> i would say that helps you put the pieces together again it's not, <laughs> it's not in your feel i mean you don't come into contact with right. the, the the organization or the family but okay. you are aware definitely that there's an organization called the Goryanon that has a reputation for kind of running the docks in okay. Peron, that, That's And that the Tyrone family is a big part of that. I mean, maybe i don't know they're in charge but i know that yeah you've heard that that's one of the main families okay. down by the docks yeah Well, thanks for a while. I feel like I've been yapping for a while. Um, thanks for listening. And I'm, I'm excited to do that tomorrow. Right, so I guess we'll meet all at the lobby of the Paramount Lodgings. Tomorrow morning? I don't know. Yeah, whenever the humans decide it's a waking hour. Decide. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <coughs> How rude. Sometime pre-noon would be nice, but... Yes. Uh, well, I think we can manage that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, cheers. This dinner was actually quite lovely. Yeah. Food's finished. Drinks are running dry. Most of the people have kind of trickled out of the uh, chop house at this point. There's a couple other people. You can hear mostly the sounds of the staff <laughs> sort of covering food, taking it into the back room. You can hear kind of <sighs> big bins and pots being kind of moved around downstairs as they're cleaning up. Shall we all walk together then? Mm. Yes. Yeah. Head downstairs. As we're heading down, I'm gonna yeah. kind of pull Alien aside. Pull him back yeah. a little bit so the, the other three kind of go down in front of you. This word, what your little meeting was about earlier? It was. And you said that went okay. It went okay. I. It was okay. I didn't. It was not anything huge. Did they know about it? Not more than what you know now. Well, that's a bummer. <laughs> yeah, bit of a bummer. Uh, but that's okay, because <laughs> that's why I've asked your help to see the well tomorrow. Maybe something will be there. And I've got a couple other strings I could pull, maybe. But there's nothing I would have. Nothing in the, you know, library research that would ring a bell about this. No. No. And you didn't, to be clear, you didn't mention Rama's name. Yeah, in connection specifically. To yeah, that. I did yeah. not. Okay. So yeah, you, you, that word means nothing to you in, in uh -huh. terms of your pilot. No. Have you asked Maeve about the word? She was the first one I brought it to. Um, she's uh, a dead end as well, but she's was helpful in making those potions, so. You think it's a magic word? I'm gonna be honest, uh, I'm still very lost at what that word is. I don't know if there's magic tied to it. Could be, but I, it's not the purpose. I'm searching it out, if that's what you're asking. Don't even know if it's a proper noun or nothing. You're, you're hitting all the questions that I've already thought myself, Kate. Well, I am invested now. All right. So, well, we can um, in, it. Great. 
Well, keep it keep it in this tight circle. In this little, I'm in the middle of a teeny tiny circle. Yes, you are. Thank you, thanks. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, me too. All right. Wait, you guys head back outside. <laughs> a couple of people start. Have a good night. Good night, y'all. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Back out of the open air. On the way down the stairs, uh, <laughs> TC will honestly having a hard time, not falling over himself, but kind of gets close to Doc. So like, brace me again, my hero. <laughs> <laughs> on your lower back, coming. Ah. Hold tight. Do, do feel safe. Morna is just <laughs> the, the one of the blinking what? guys. <laughs> you guys, get back out into the fresh air of the thoroughfare. Work your way back toward Paramount Lodging. <laughs> yeah. You're greeted with a little bit of a surprise upon your re-entry through the doors of Paramount as Mr. Warren is manning the front desk, looking both alert and sober, something of a rarity at this hour. Sorry, the, it was not Mr. Clemens. Warren, not Warren. Clemens. Yeah. Oh, wow. Mr. Warren is there. Though he's parted ways with the poker table, you can see that he continues to kind of idly shuffle a deck of cards in his hands just to keep his hands busy, kind of always. You see him frequently with either a, a coin or a deck of cards, some kind of gambling instrument. And as he turns, he sees you enter. He quickly tucks the cards kind of into a drawer before smiling. Good evening. Welcome back. Thank you, Mr. Warren. Good evening. Mm. What time well, is it around this, this it's point? Probably getting to be like 11 o'clock at this 11. point. Oh, yeah. God. All right. All right. Straight to bed. Yeah. Um, Everybody kind of feeling their way up the stairs. <laughs> uh, I'll. We're. Oh, shit. You're on the same floor, aren't you? Man? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> So as you guys are the first ones to peel off from the crowd, you go in because uh, you're on the second floor. The rest of you go up the next set of stairs. I'll kind of hang back, and if Kate is like making it on her way to her room, I'll like hang back just slowly, a little slower up the stairs. Okay, it's obvious. Yeah. Do you stop or do you just go ahead? I'm gonna kind of turn around <laughs> and like be like, see them. I'm just like, oh, oh brace myself again. I'll stay in there and take another step. I roll, just gonna go to bed. Upstairs, you hear their door close to her room. <laughs> she, yeah, she's <laughs> gonna stay in the hall. She you knows guys are a bit kind of at the to top talk. of the stairs. Normal human yeah. beings, normal yeah. human. I don't know if you saw the room below us I did. was cleared. Yes. You did? I did. <clears throat> All right. We, just in time. Just in time. Anything yes. else come of that from your. I goings on today. I, I was hoping that we could see Maeve tomorrow, as you mentioned, and I must go to the apiary briefly. Before we went to Diamond, you said we would go to Maeve. You told me about the gnome blood, that she might be able to help. <coughs> she smokes the blue powder. That was it. <laughs> that is what I said. I don't know well, if she can help. Well. But maybe she, she saw someone help. else buying the stuff. Uh, uh, yes. I don't know. Mr. Welker, mm. I need you to swear to me that you will not look for that guard. You will not speak to him. If anything happens, you will send him to me if he is looking for me. The fact that I have not been arrested by a mob is a good indication that he has not told anyone. Do not seek him out. Swear to me you will not seek him out. I swear to you that if I did have a thought previous to right now of seeking him out, it was to slit his throat. No. I am too far in your debt, and I will not be further. This is not your business. I will handle him alone. Do not You don't need seek. to. I need your word. Unless you ask me to, I will not seek him. Can I tell if he's telling the truth? Sure, I mean, that's a check. And give me a persuasion or deception, depending on what you feel is a disadvantage. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ooh. Um, uh, oh. oh, we won me. You do 20. I miss you. Oh. Um, <laughs> It doesn't matter. It's a three. It's a three. <laughs> oh my god! I mean, it, he's drunk. You're a little drunk, and it—it it, it seems sincere, but okay, good I mean. enough for me. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> 
Good night. Sleep well. You too. Give a bang on the wall if you need anything. I, same. And I'm oh. gonna go to bed. Head in. Don't roll your eyes at me. Everyone in their rooms for the evening. Any last minute bits of business to take care of before people trance, sleep? I want to speak briefly to Doc. Sure. You guys head in. The, I your just want to clean my weapons. You may do so. Take the rag out of the sort of little wash basin there. Yeah. Um, I'm going to wait for her to go into her room before I go into mine. Mm -hmm. And because I put in my note what room I was in, I'm going to check the door for traps before I open it. <laughs> okay. Give me an investigation check. You would have Whoa. advantage, but just a straight roll. Just a straight roll. Apparently. Okay. Yeah. Uh, investigation. 14. Not that you can tell. Okay. I'm like checking the door. You're a little bit yeah. sort of stumbling. <laughs> you sort of, okay. Don't feel anything that doesn't, at one point there's kind of a bump and you look, but it's just a <laughs> knot in the wood there. <laughs> and I'll honestly still kind of carefully open the door, peek in. <laughs> Just how you left it. Close it behind me. I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a chair, the chair that I kind of sat on earlier, and lean it up against the door, not to prop it shut, but in a way that if the door opened, the chair would fall. Sure. The door's locked too. You have keys to your rooms as well. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Lock it and yeah, do that. You can, that door you can opens. Do that. <laughs> and. Uh, Honestly, go through the room and just make sure that everything was kind of the way I left it. Like, very, like... As far as you can tell, not nothing an inch moved in your room. All right. This rope. Okay. <laughs> Tie room. Doc, before I hit the hay, um, I just wanted to say, uh, at the chop house, the thing that I couldn't tell you before, decided to take a bit of a leap and... It is, uh, it's Yarpaya and all these things. So now that you know, uh, just, I just want you to uh, obviously be careful. I don't know what, but I think it's better to be tackle it together than not. And I could really, I could really use your help because I, I'm running cold on this and uh, you give me insights sometimes that I, I wouldn't have seen otherwise. Um, so if you find out anything about that, uh, let me know. Um, but be careful, because I don't, I don't know. There was that corpse that that got mutilated that TC brought up briefly for no, even knowing that word. So. All right, Il. All right. It feels good to. Tell you, <laughs> so I've been wanting to tell you for a long time. Um, it look, he looks very relieved. It looks like that's been sort of weighing on him as he. Long time. Uh, ever since before I decided to come to Bronk Hollow, uh, it was Shantara that told me that, which I know paints this all in a very bad light for you, but. Mm -hmm. It's, it's important to me, not, maybe it's important to her too, but it, it's important for me and me alone. If it's important to you, Il, I will help you. And I don't know what else to say. If it helps you rest easy, I don't see any way in which this could What she told me, I don't see how it could be with bad intention. Because it seems to only be a good thing if I can get to the bottom of this. She told you how much? Anything? Nothing? She just whispered this word in your ear and you just set off to Broncolo? You just, you just felt it in your heart or your soul or something? You don't have to tell me, Il, but it's it's very hard for me to I imagine know. that Shan... Doxley, yeah. is there any chance that you already know something about Yarpaya? Is that... 
Elian, I have never heard that word in my fucking life. And I doubt Shantara would <laughs> ever sit me down and have a chat with me like she did you. I'm sorry that I don't have any information that'll help you. I'm more afraid that if I tell you what she told me that you'll think I'm... I'm stupid for even listening, or that I'm naive and dumb and young and all of these things. And I, I don't want to lose any repute with you, and I... Ew. Ew. I'll never think any of those things. I love you, and I know that you're... I just don't want you to start trying to be so fucking good to make up for all the bad and get yourself fucking killed, okay? I know you want it really bad. The way I see it, Doc, is if I don't make up for it, then my life is worthless. I've only made this place worse. And I'd be happy to die doing what I think is right than to die leaving all those families that I've hurt in some way. It, it's not... Life right now is not worth living if I don't change it. Change is one thing, Il, but absolution is a totally different thing. Please don't set yourself up for that. You can change, I know you can, but don't ever expect that you're suddenly gonna feel free of sin, okay? I'm sorry. We didn't stand a chance, okay? I need to do one more thing before I go to bed. Um, I'm here for you, and I'll do whatever I need to do to keep you safe. I love you. I love you too, Doxley. Good night. Good night. And we'll leave. Oh. And quickly just hop next door to Gujex and get a light knock. There's no light coming from underneath the door. You would knock anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't a response to a kind of light knock there? Uh, lightly up against the door. Gujek gets your delightful little bodyguard. Hoping to have a quick word. Sorry for the late hour. Pause there for a moment. You hear the bed creak. Oh. The door opens up. When you knocked on his door, it almost prompted, as you were whispering, prompted almost like a, a little grunt in, coming from the interior, just as if he was sort of getting up from sitting or lying down. And after you hear footsteps and the lock so door swings open, you notice that he's fully dressed, despite the fact that it was dark, like he was almost like he was just about to leave. His boots are on, the thin leather gloves over his hands, and he has his usual ribbon-accented top hat with a silk shirt under a long overcoat. Looking over his shoulder, his rectangular padded case that he took to Izzy's is resting on his desk, and the whole of what you're seeing amounts to the impression that he either already made a trip to Narva CNC today, or maybe he's been mulling it over for a good portion of the day and hasn't sort of found the nerve to get up and go. So he has, he looks like a man who's ready to walk out the door, but either he did that earlier or he just ultimately decided that he wasn't sort of in the mood to do so. And as he sort of peeks. I came to your door earlier, but you were not there. I'm sorry, there was an issue with the uh, boy that we came into town with. It's okay. Gave me time to think. Um, have you landed on a decision? I think so. I think maybe 
This place is not for me. May I have a word in private? Um, Do you mind? In the morning, perhaps. You're I not... promise not to leave. You're not gonna go taking off in the night, eh? No. You haven't told her yet, have you? No. All right. Bright and early, yeah? Mm. All right, good night. When I go back to tell her, I would like you to be there. Yeah, well, I actually, that's why I was kind of knocking. Um, I had a, an idea for you, but. Clear head in the morning. All right. All right, yeah, it's late. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Dox is just gonna kind of stand at the door for a minute. Walk. Okay. Go back. Go into our room. Kate, any closing thoughts as you mull things over alone in your room? Or we drift off? You don't have to. <laughs> Kate is Kate is having a, a silent pep talk to herself. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long day. It's been a long day. Accomplished a few things. <laughs> As like, you know, undressing, like getting the notebook out and like holding it close to mm -hmm. her chest. And um, you look over those pages that meant nothing to you for so long and sort of look, you can't read it, but the fact that even someone was able to tell you what yeah. was on some of them. Just kind of probably going to fall asleep, like staring at those pages, <laughs> like, Book on face. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Full of trance. <laughs> and that is where we are going to take a break. Uh, uh, as we got yay. through to our long rest. Well done. Oh, oh yay. thank God. Oh, <laughs> you the exhaustion made it. lifts <sighs> from TZ. Yay. Nice. Yay. Um, that feels good. good for you. <laughs> awesome. We're gonna come right back up as as the uh, elves rise from their trances. <laughs> um, but as always, a little fun and games during the break. Enjoy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stretch your legs. Get that powerball. Run, hollow power. Um, and we will thank people uh, when we get back. Uh, I'm gonna show. That's it. Yeah. Uh, TikTok will go offline for 15 yeah. minutes and come back online. So give us a follow, and it'll notify you when we're back in 15. <gasps> follow. Oh subscribe. The red like. Then comment. In that order, follow, subscribe, <laughs> like, then comment. In that order. <laughs> Who is taking us to break? I am. Right. Please get us out of here. Shut up about the girth. Uh, are we live? Notch and soda number four! Notch and soda. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers! Cheers! When Maeve said that outside the door, of like, maybe you should use that on someone who's closer to you. In Alien's mind, it was like, like TC? Raven or TC? <gasps> oh. Can you choose? You can't make the choose between choosing? a machine. <laughs> Does everybody have an alignment? Chaotic horny. <laughs> <laughs> don't, we fucking no, don't, don't, you don't even tell us. No, don't Got tell it. us, and it's so irritating, we don't tell us. You bring it up every night. <laughs> I don't even think this is, <laughs> like I said, we have a really night. mature group that can handle this. <laughs> what do you think of first, personality or backstory, mix of both? Um, if, I would say function in the story first. What's Very fun is that you teach the players that sounds mean certain things. She begins to sponge his back. This no. is stage direction. Do you have a choice that your character regrets the most so far? All right, everybody. Have a wonderful night. Have a wonderful week. Uh, we'll see you next week. Welcome back, everybody. We hope you have a nice break. Mm -hmm. The group has had a lively, spirited dinner, followed by a sobering, somber few conversations a little hungover. before going to bed. <laughs> <laughs> but before we rise and shine in the morning, and you can begin to do your long rest things if you haven't already, 
Um, a few shout outs before we dive back in. Here we go, Detective Wyvern resubscribed, Detective Wyvern did a five stream streak, Doug C 84 resubscribed, Hades Black Plays did a three stream streak, Vokes Bido resubscribed, Z Lash resubscribed, Cool Shaper 5 Outer Bits, Brooke Teeny is subscribed, Master Dark resubscribed, Cave on Clay resubscribed, Helljack did one bit, nah, for a nat one, Helljack did 400 bits, Helljack did another 500 bits, Doofins vs Booty Cheeks, five community subs, and then another five oh, community subs, holy smokes, whoa. Lord lost 10 stream streak, wow. and then Doofins vs another five community oh. subs, we're at a level three hype train! Oh thank whoa. you! Uh, hype, hype, hype. Thank holy smokes. Thank you. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you so much. All right. The sun is only just thinking about rising when the <laughs> elves come to. A deep trance doing just the trick to transform your mind and your body's lingering lethargy into spirited motivation. Your fourth day is upon you. Good God. And though most of the people in the establishment still slumber, you're not averse to spending some personal time in the calm before the storm that is the town's bringing to life. For some, the wheels feel like they're already in motion. While for others, those same wheels feel like they've rolled askew and are now wedged deep in a divot. In either case, the day awaits with fates and fortunes that seem to change as readily as the wind. Yet only one thing remains constant. A question that you always wake up with. Did you make the right choice in coming to Brunkhall? Only one way to find out. So it's the very, very wee, wee hours of the morning. You would know that most businesses, establishments are not open at this hour. Is there anything you'd like to sort of take some personal time to yourself or something you'd like to, you're certainly free to leave the Paramount, wander, walk, think, talk. Who are you guys up to? Okay, Kate. Go ahead, Kate. Kate. <laughs> Kate is gonna do morning stretches mm -hmm. um, and then um, get, um, I have an ink well and a quill and everything, yeah. um, and I'm gonna take like some letter writing materials down to the porch. Okay, great. Yeah, I'm gonna sit out. They love good. when you do that. <laughs> <laughs> Down to the porch outside um, and hand a letter. Um, nothing too long, but I think it's gonna take her a while to figure out what she wants to say. Okay. I think it's gonna say, Dear Jonah, um, feel free to share this with Contessa or whoever, but thought I'd say things are going well here, and I think I am starting to find what I am looking for. And I hope one day it will bring us closer as a family. Thinking about you all. I'm safe if anyone cares. Um, <laughs> signed Kate. And then, I guess, who, if, is Mr. Warren still at the desk? Uh, it's returned to Mr. Clemens, who's behind okay. the desk, but uh, yes, he, you would know that you could hand that to them to take yeah. to the courier's office. If you okay, want. and I'll, I'll drop it off. So right before you turn to go back inside, just what were, were you guys doing anything during that time? What were you doing as the sort of early hours rise? I'm assuming Gujak is an eight-hour sleeper. Lazy yes, person, he's right? not. A, uh, orcs are not trancers, so yes, presumably. Okay. Um, well, I don't know if you have anything planned, but Doxy's gonna rise, and you'll see her start to put on like the kind of clothing that she usually does when she's going for like a like a run. Okay. She's gonna go for like mm, a some sort of looser fitting, but st sort of uh, not some of your heavier attire that you would. Uh... Yeah. You head right outside. We'll say that you kind of exited out right before Kate kind of was coming down. So you get outside before anyone else. You see the open thoroughfare around you, breathe in the morning air. <sighs> Another day. I'm gonna start trying to, just like, a, doesn't know the terrain super well, so she's just gonna go, I guess like to, the, when you leave a Paramount and go to the left, you're heading like up that slope to go to like the Gnome Nook and stuff. You can, yes. Like, she's just gonna try to like find some trails or like. Sure, just... running, like jogging. Yeah, 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 yeah. So getting in a little bit of morning exercise before anybody is awake, before you have to kind of fight for space in the thoroughfare. Mm -hmm. As you're sort of jogging, it feels good to not have to like bob and weave through the crowds or anything like that. You just, you have the whole sort of area to yourself. Kind of go, be... not into detention pass fully, but you kind of curl around, you kind of go up toward the bluffs there. Probably gonna be if she can get to a more secluded part 
she's probably gonna burst into like a full run and have like a little get the emotions out yeah. kind of exercise. Well, there is she'll... room for that for sure. Slow down, hit her breath again. Keep going. Alien. As soon as you see her changing that attire, you know what she might be getting up to. She would go for jogs in Slim Harbor sometime. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I just want to <laughs> <laughs> uh, really just appreciate that I'm not doing anything right now and just take some time. The one thing I want to do before we go up, uh, this is probably hours later, but before we meet, all meet up, I wanted to drop off my armor at Crenshaw's. Um, and for the first time being here, wear my finer clothing outside of my armor and like probably just have my great sword, no other weapons, <laughs> just like low, low stakes day. Sure. <laughs> Casual Lillian attire. Yeah, His yeah. great sword and like a <laughs> and nice row. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Nice. Nice, nice vest or something. So that was all taking place. Kate, when you got downstairs before you penned the letter, it almost kind of took every ounce of restraint to not like go flying through the door en route to Maeve's sort yeah. of in anticipation of what she might have pieced together during her time alone with the materials. Though you're also anxious to reconnect because almost much like a parent hiring a babysitter for the first time, handing off something that was so deeply important to you, it, there's like a wave of worry about what might have happened to it in your absence, even though if you have no reason to believe that it would. As you go back into the hotel lobby, letter in hand, you have to just talk yourself into slowing things down. Yeah. You know, let let Maeve sit with the material, figure out what she can, take things one step Don't at a time. Don't be over eager. <laughs> Maeve is an elf as well, but that doesn't necessarily mean she's awake yet, especially if she did what you feel you might have done, which is bury herself in her notes until her eyelids drooped and she nodded off kind of in a chair somewhere. While Mr. Clemens works to sort of, he looks like he's tabulating, balancing the ledgers, sort of making sure, checking who's might be checking out or who needs to pay for extra nights or whatever. As he's working there behind the desk, you just look into the dining area. As you're coming back in with the letter, you're now facing the dining area where when you kind of down and went out, it was over your shoulder. You didn't even bother to look that way. And as you look into the dining area, you see that it's almost completely empty, which makes sense given that Kenzo has not yet begun to uh, serve breakfast. The key word, however, is almost, because there is one person there. An elven woman, refined in her demeanor more so than her attire, with graying hair and a slightly upturned nose in the center of an angular face. As you come back inside, she stands, and the faded black poncho that she's wearing kind of cascades down past her waist, and she takes one step toward you. She tilts her head, she smiles a smile that has kind of a hint of heartbreak, and she speaks. Kate. It's time to come home. And as you look across the lobby of the Paramount and see your mother's face, Bassett, who's behind the desk there with the ledger in hand, he looks up to you, to the elven woman, <clears throat> closes the ledger, sort of tucks it under his arm, and he disappears kind of behind a door, possibly a storage room or something kind of behind him in that moment. How did you get here? I took a wagon. By yourself? There were others in the wagon. Your cousin Jonah was the first to suggest you might have come here. I did not want to believe it, but here you are. One day goes by, then two. Nobody's seen you. Not your siblings, not the monastery, not any of the boys at Phoenix Fright. She takes a couple more steps. This place is not for you, Kate. Your father and I taught you to find strength in faith, not to run from it. We worked so hard to show you a life of peace. People like 
us. And as she says that, people like us, she looks around the lobby of the hotel. People like us do not come here. Just by setting foot in this town, you have you have tainted so much of the goodwill that you have built up. As have I just for coming to get you. I'm not coming back. Come back before this dangerous dalliance defines you for the rest of your life. What life? The fact that you can pray here and the gods do not listen is not evidence of their absence. It is indication of their disdain for such a place. And all who dwell within it When the sinning grows so great that it cannot be ignored anymore, the purge will come fast and it will come indiscriminate. And I could not bear for you to suffer that end. I'm sorry that you don't have dad. while you're worrying about me. But I have to say I'm impressed. <laughs> I never would have thought to see you here or that you would have made it out here or done something so brave and exciting. I am not impressed, Kate. I am quite the opposite. I'm sorry that you have to worry about me because I know you care, but I'm not coming back. What exactly would I be coming back to? You see in her face just a little bit of a shift and not so much a shift of emotion, but a change in tactic. You see her think and she sort of Liza and Milton look up to you. What are they supposed to think? How do you look up to a sister who leaves a good home to pursue selfish riches or whatever reason you're here? It's not selfish. I want them to know that they can do whatever they, whatever they dream of. They can, and so can you, and it does not have to be here. Mom, it literally has to be here. Don't you want to know what our family used to be like? Don't ever, don't ever mention that to me again. Leave it behind. We all let go of parts of our past so that with two hands, we may pray to the gods and provide for our children. Kate, you will come home. And we will put that, and again, shift, sort of a shift in tactic, a shift in tone. We will put, and she touches you on the shoulder, we will put that enviable drive, that special drive that makes you, you, toward respectable pursuits. We will discover something that is fulfilling in all the ways you want it to be, without climbing down into the filth to find it. With the hand on her shoulder, she's gonna like pull her mom in for a hug. Um, and like take a big deep breath and like smell her mom's, you know, scent and everything. Um, 
a moment there. I'm like still holding on, just be like, I am so grateful for how hard you and dad worked to give me an opportunity to do something bigger and better. And I understand that you will never understand that this is what that opportunity means to me. That can't be true. That cannot be the only thing. Get your things, Kate. <laughs> the same wagon that I came in on is set to turn around and depart from a lie at noon. You will be on that wagon with me. Go get your things. From here, <laughs> Kate's gonna let go. Um, and like, hold her mom's shoulders. I know we don't say this very much, but I love you. And you have to let me go. And maybe it is selfish. But I'm an adult. And I miss them. And I'm doing this for them. You have convinced yourself. I think you'll change your mind. I think you'll see. I think you'll be excited. And I think you will understand that that story that you've been telling yourself your whole life, that I'm telling myself a different one. What room are you in? I will help you pack your things. Do you want to go for a walk? I would like to go for a walk directly into the closest caravan leading to Malai. And from there to Seawall. Um, she's gonna walk. Kay's gonna walk out the door. Come back here, Kay. Just start walking. There's like a long pause and finally, like some quick footsteps and out into the thoroughfare. Kate! You can chase after me like a lunatic or you can just walk with me. Every step I take in this place is a misery. No. Would you heap that upon me on top of everything else? You send me to that school thinking I'll learn things, and then you're so shocked and surprised when my mind expands beyond yours. If I knew they would have taught you this, I never would have sent you there. I know. Come on, Kate. I have given you so much leeway, so much space. Get over here. I'm not coming. Do you really want to say goodbye like this? She takes a couple more steps, sort of now within four or five feet of you, another step closer, two, three feet. Kate, you will regret this. You do not see it now, but you will. I have not regretted a single second that I have been here. I have never felt more alive and more sure that maybe my life will actually mean something. There is a second wagon leaving tomorrow at the same time. I will rent a room and give you some time to put your affairs in order. Come first light, I hope to hear a knock on my door and I hope to find you having come to your senses. And if you decide you would like to stroll around town a bit. She turns. 
She starts to walk back toward him, the bearman. She walks up to the front desk and you can hear her for a little bit from a distance. Excuse me, I would like a, a room. <laughs> you hear kind of a, <laughs> uh, yes, I believe we can accommodate you. Um, and then a little bit of a quiet sort of, have a room on the second floor. And standing in the middle of the thoroughfare. Yeah. It's like, Knowing it's very quiet, and yeah. people are very, asleep. very few people out here. The, the couple of people, nobody passes by close by, and you hear your mom's footsteps going up the stairs, and then <sighs> Kate's gonna have like a full silent scream. <laughs> if it was any later in the morning and she was any less well trained, she would <laughs> scream so loud, but it's gonna be a big inhale and just like a silent, like. Probably just like fall to her knees. Um, As you do that, even sort of clenching both hands, you then open and you realize you still have that like letter in your hand that you hadn't passed off yet. She's gonna rip it up and just leave it on the street and go straight to Maeve's. We're gonna bounce around in time a little bit. You head in the direction of Maeve's. And TC and Morna, and we will bounce back to the elves. You wake having waded through a tremendously deep sleep that came at just the right time. <sighs> the soreness in your chests, a quick reminder that last night's events were not, in fact, a dream. But it's nothing a little grit and determination can't get you through. Nor does it hold a candle to the swirling sensation in your heads as you continue to try and process what you saw and did yesterday, all of the things especially regarding the incident at the bridge. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. Morna, you in particular have so much that your brain is working through, you also feel that your body's battling itself. It's almost feverish, like it's fighting an infection, but an infection of more than just your physical makeup. There's just something about this place, the whole place, the valley, the downwheeled, everything that makes the wild wilder and you hope you don't get to a point where containment is no longer an option. However, you do feel it getting more difficult. <laughs> oh! I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, Dark oh! Taylor. Oh! oh, I knew it, Dark Taylor. The save it. to, uh, it. it. it's the same it. thing. It's just, it's the DC is higher than it's it was. It's a lot can higher. You, it, it, can, can you share you it just it? so people can hear sure. it? Sure, yeah, you can read it. Fuck it yes, it says when you enter a rage, you can attempt to suppress your surge of wild magic, make a DC 15 <gasps> constitution saving that throw. If you if you succeed, you enter your rage as normal without rolling the wild magic table. You can give yourself advantage by expending your second rage. Holy. Um, oh. Now, it's oh DC God. 15 and your con save is a plus Shut three. Up. I know, I just, <laughs> well, I just there, that was a notch and soda revelation. It is yes. a plus three, okay. yes. And I'm a stupid dum dum. <laughs> and match but just saves. for reference, yeah, match save, so, just for reference, okay. the DC was previously 11. 11. I think, <gasps> so. It was a big jump. Yeah, it was a really big wow. jump. Wow. So now you have to roll a 12 or better. Okay. Yep. Not the worst. Yes. No. Okay, okay. Oh, baby. Ooh, Morning. baby. Oh, I want to be the only one who knows, though. <laughs> <laughs> Better act fast if you're gonna sell me down the river. Quickly, right. before we follow them, would you guys have gone off to do something in particular? Would you have been waiting for them? Uh, just the dropping off armor. Okay, we'll say you were sort of headed off in that direction. After Doxy finished her run, was there somewhere that she was planning on? Uh, bathed, gotten into my finer clothes, mm -hmm. and then Go Jack. <laughs> okay, great. And you, well, great. We'll visit that as well. But so, morning and TC you rise, and um, where do you, where do you head in the morning first? First, uh... um, I'm gonna uh, sing Bill and Barb their favorite song. Oh my god! <laughs> Let the gods take you up the mountain. <laughs> and then I'm going to head out the door, and I'm gonna go to the apiary. Okay, start to head in the direction of the apiary. Excellent. As TC heads down into the lobby, maybe thinking about- I got out of my room in. alive. <laughs> <You do. laughs> the door explodes as you open it. Sick. <laughs> as you head down into the lobby, immediately, um, 
you know, a customary smile from Bassett Clemens. Good morning. Good morning. Mr. Welker, a uh, parcel, a small parcel was dropped off for you this morning. I have Most it here. Uh, mm. uh, unless you'd like to eat before you see. No, the... please, please. Of course. He sort of goes, he turns around, there's all those little like cubby holes behind him. And the one that's marked uh, for your room. So it's a very small parcel. It has a note and then a little package that's like wrapped in paper. So there's something wrapped in paper. This is the note, obviously. <laughs> um, uh, heart racing a little bit. TC will just quickly look at that. <clears throat> <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. Of course. Uh, <clears throat> Thank you. And TC will run back up to the to the uh, to the house to the room. <laughs> oh, room. Yep, what? back up to my room. <laughs> Happening. Sure. Yep, back up to the room. Yep. There's a parcel attached to this. Yes, a very small. Parcel. Up to the room. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my. Oh my God. Yep. Does anybody see me on the stairs? And no, you didn't pass. Anyone. Close the door. With the box, like it's like a like a put it on the desk. Uh, 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 is there string? Is there t is what is it? Yeah, is it, it's, it is like wrapped in paper and then like one band of string around it. Slowly, string. Open it. Open it. Yeah. It's like a hollow little box with a key inside. Second. Uh, <laughs> you can take out the little book that you looted from the Monteros, from the basement of the Monteros. What? what? <laughs> I take it out. I take out the little hymnal. What the? What Fudge. is actually happening right now? Oh my god. I hate it. I hate Anthony's it. playing a totally different game. I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For reminder reference, it was a little book of like common hymns and prayers that he found in the in the basement of the uh, of the <laughs> Like this book of common hymns and prayers. <laughs> yes. Oh. Like a like a kind of Patreon book of <laughs> Patreon, Patreon, Patreon. Yeah, maybe if you're a patron Patreon. you'll know a little bit more about what the book's. Would I know the, the tune to this? Um Ooh. If you heard it maybe, heard but it. Okay. singing it from memory, not so much. TC's just gonna read it out loud just to hear the words again. <laughs> The gods endure, the trees die, they wither and dry. Kingdoms fall, its rulers and all. Histories fade and stories decay. Giants brood until they are bones. He just, he puts it down on the table and just like reads them like 25 more times. If you'd like to take it out of there, you can. Is, is that easier for you? Um, to take that page out? Eventually, I'll, oh, okay. I'll take a picture of it yeah, or something. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. <laughs> it's, it, it feels like he's still asleep. Like TC looks over at the bed and, and there's the, the, his shape in it, but there's he's not looking at himself in the bed. He's actually awake. All right. All right. I will take it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, you've changed your mind. I changed my mind. <laughs> Um, do you need a moment? Uh, no, I, uh, what it's, uh, eight, seven, eight? Yeah, like, it, like, it. you guys probably, you know, you were leaving the, uh, the chop house at about 11, so, yeah, just before eight. 7.45. And, uh, we didn't say a time. 
last night, no. did we? We just said <clears throat> we meet in the morning. Mm -hmm. God, um, um, I'm going, I'm going. He's going west. He's going west. He's going west. I'm going west. I'm going west. Um, <laughs> Mr. Clemens. Yes. Um, if my if my associates, uh, my fellow free bags, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 congregate as I as I understand that they will here, um, tell them that I do hope to join them. Uh, uh, short, of but that if I do not make it to go on without me. Um, sure. Um, if they come to meet, um, should I give them an amount of time before they should leave or make their own business? I hope to be but an hour. An hour from now? Uh, from now. Uh, yeah. Oh. Yes. All right. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, I took the key with you. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Uh, Take yeah. that with you. We'll pivot over, um, sort of going backwards in time, to Doxley's been running, cleaning, thinking, and finally it's getting to be kind of about that time, 7.30ish, when, uh, when Gujek might rise at a normal hour, as other people would. Okay. Um, looking out at the Paramount Lodgings like lobby, do I see Kate hanging out, waiting for us to all kind of gather. Uh, no, you don't. We'll say that she's still at names. Um, okay. Uh, I'm gonna go to Clemens. Mm. Um, morning. Good morning. Hi. Um, if my associate Kate comes in, can you, uh, can you tell her that I'm in Gujek's room? <laughs> of course. Appreciate it, yeah. Should I send her up or just inform her? Uh, just inform her, yeah. Of course. Thank you. And I'm gonna go up to Gujek's. Glenn was like, I got a cheap track of everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he said to say that he'll be at two. <laughs> yeah. If Alien's wearing blue, don't yeah. talk to him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> this would have been also He's before TC spoke. Oh, okay. <laughs> um. Lazy. Knocking on the door. This time, unlike the night prior, very prompt response, sort of no hesitation or indication that he might have been resting. It takes but a second for the door to open. Good morning. Please. Thank you. Good morning. Good to see you. Yeah. Um, may I sit? Yeah. If yeah. you mind. He sits on the bed and motions to every room has like a desk and a stool. He motions to that. Yeah, Docs will like pick up the chair and place it across him at the desk. Mm. So, sounds like you've sort of made up your mind. It is lonely here. Don't know if I want to stay day in such a place. Lonely. No orcs. I see. That's enough to say no to everything that Izzy's offering you. I don't know that I need all that Izzy offers. You don't want it. I thought I did. But being here, very lonely, maybe not worth it. Well, take it from me, good Jack. Your family could be sleeping in the same room as you and you can feel just as lonely. Look, I know we sort of set our pace about my initial thoughts with taking Izzy's deal. Yes. And I have the last couple of days sort of ingratiated myself in Roncalo in a way that I was not <sighs> imagining myself to be quite so quickly. Congratulations. Oh, it's, thank you. Um, but, 
I remember telling you that my goal here, I wasn't so sure about, and you, you said this phrase that uh, sort of just stuck in my head, that, uh, that uh, big fish, small pond <clears throat> sort of thing. <clears throat> and that is also what I am trying to escape from, uh, and I have figured out some opportunities. Sorry, I'm, I'm rambling, I have a lot of thoughts, but I want you to stay. Because, well, not only do I actually think that it might be a little dangerous to pass on Izzy when she's already paid for you to come here, but I, I think I can get you something. Something that's beyond just money. I, I think there's some knowledge and I can, I can introduce you to somebody that has something that both of you can benefit learning about. And in doing that, it will help me. Make a persuasion check. Oof. Oh, which die did I use? I'll use my brother's die. You bastard. <laughs> Uh, persuasion, mm -hmm. bully's best friend. Or er, why don't, yeah, bully's best friend. Yeah, bully's best friend. Cool. Oh, you didn't get the inspiration <laughs> from that thing, did you? Six. Oh. I wish I could help you. But I just don't know. Just. Can you give me an hour? I can go and I can introduce you to the person that I want to introduce you to, and they can put up a better pitch than I can. I can't offer you anything right now, but I plan on being the fucking center of this town someday. And I want you and, and, and my companions thus far to, to be there beside me. Ooh. Mm. Are you introducing me to? Well, you've sort of already been introduced. Uh, it's the wood elf that you shared your carriage ride here with. Mm. Look, I, I told you that in order to stay safe, working for Izzy, that you needed to stay invaluable or you needed to have a backup plan. Mm. And it, it does, does the family name Mori mean anything to you? All I know is that that family and uh, from Saywall, they had some sort of a old alchemical history. Ah? Hmm. Uh, Saywall, not so far from the Ograms. Yeah, that's why I thought that maybe you would know of them, but apparently their knowledge has been out of practice since all the cleric bullshit. Not uncommon. Yeah, I think that's why she's here. You know of the prison. Fort Contrition. Yes. Yeah. There is a man there. Okomir. O-K-O-M-I-R. Who is from my tribe in the Okra. Friend, he was arrested for raiding caravans between Sewol and Piran. I would like to see him, but I have heard it is not so simple to arrange a visit with a prisoner. If I could see him, I would stay to see him. Does that give you enough time? Yes. Do 
do you know someone who can help me arrange a visit? Yes. How long? How long for what? The arranging of to the visit? To arrange the visit. <sighs> well, you know, it's, well, seven <laughs> now, so... <laughs> to, okay, 24 hours? I don't know. Good check. I, the, you're throwing at the... You're throwing this at me really quickly, but I can make it happen. I can stay for 24 hours. Okay. What will you tell Izzy? I can avoid her, I suppose. <laughs> Sorry. I hadn't necessarily planned on visiting her anytime soon. Is she not waiting for my response? Yes, she is. Hmm. And, and in the meantime, I will do my best to get Kate to meet with you because I just have a feeling that there is going to be something that she knows that you want to know or vice versa and that's a good reason for staying here if even for a little bit. Hmm. I don't care so much about Kate. <laughs> but I will meet her. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I suppose as a as a favor to me. Yes. Oh, come here. Oh, come here. Oh my God. Just want to see you. Okay. Well, I wasn't expecting to get on my knees practically and beg you to stay here, Gujak, but thank you for... Not begging to ask a friend for something. Yeah. Okay. If you stay, I'll fucking make it worth it. And I'm gonna get up. Yeah. You stay oh. seated. Okay. Head on now. Yep. We're gonna follow. <laughs> fucking who? <laughs> Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Who's it? Who's it? Morna! Oh, come on down! <laughs> sorry. What horrors does that have in store for you? Oh, you're <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As you leave the Paramount, you leave the main section of town as well, almost like you're heading to Detention Pass, but you pivot very quickly to the left and you swing back around going uphill until you find yourself across uh, atop those little bluffs that were available, visible from the lodgings. There's another row of dwellings here that are clearly kind of the next wave of settlers after the first pioneers took the plots closest to the river. And the very first settlement or, or structure right before, right as you get up onto the bluffs, is a kind of thatched roof cottage surrounded by concentric circles of these raised wooden boxes. Hmm. Moving from box to box is a man with wavy red hair and a groomed goatee, checking each one with care and enthusiasm as he inspects his <laughs> collection. Oh my god. He's young, probably the youngest owner of like a permanent dwelling okay. that you've seen thus far. He might be like 20, early 20s, like 22 years old. And he, as he walks, he walks with a slight hitch that you realize is a bit of a limp. He has a simple kind of unengraved wooden cane that he assists his walking. It doesn't seem extremely difficult, but just a little aid. He clearly has like just a little, maybe lingering injury or something that he's walking off that he moves from box to box. You notice that he doesn't wear any protective clothing as he works, mm -hmm. apparently confident enough to avoid stings or perhaps just resigned to the fact that it kind of comes with the territory. Mm -hmm. 
With the valley rising up behind him in the background, there's something delightfully whimsical about this spot. <laughs> Just a man and his bees. A human oh. taking care of nature and in turn, nature providing for him. So you see him kind of moving from box to box. You can see him kind of checking on them. Good morning. Good morning to you. <laughs> um. Uh, you have that look of waywardness about you. If you're looking for the gnome tents, you just got to continue along the ridge. You'll see him soon enough. Um, no, sir, I, um, I actually wondered if I could tell your bees news. I know it is an old superstition, but there's been a death and I'd like to inform them. We'll take just a second. I have just the box for you. Thank you. <laughs> Come on. Okay, she follows him. He walks over to the kind of far left corner like upper north left corner and he comes over to one and he peeks inside these are my favorite bees they're very smart they always go back inside when i come over because they think i'm gonna steal their stuff are you sometimes <laughs> <laughs> i talk to them all the time so wouldn't be anything new Okay. She's gonna sort of get down and um, quietly, like a little bit, sort of like not really wanting. <laughs> He's like four <laughs> feet away from you, like <laughs> watching. Okay, she's oh just gonna God. be like, um, um, there's been, um, I just thought I'd, you know, whoever you can sort of tell, um, I guess. Um, Innes and Shannon and Quinn are dead of the Ishtiks. All of Redbriar Village, actually, but I don't think I have time to tell you all of their names. And I'd hate to leave something out. So. Do with that what you will. Make an animal handling check. Nine. See a couple bees kind of crawl out of the box. <laughs> and then go kind of go back inside the box. She's gonna um, just sort of like close her eyes for a second and um, stand up and, and nod. Uh, thank you. Sorry, your, your name? Yeah, I'm Shelby. Shelby. I usually bring my business to others. Not as often the other way around. People yes. come into me. Especially, you know, if there's things that people need, honey's used as a base ingredient in a number of things. Right. Um, you know, there's a, a friend of mine. She's excellent with animals of all sizes and has an interest in the alchemical. You wouldn't be happen. You would never look for a, an apprentice of any kind. Mm -hmm. I manage pretty well up here, but oh. if it ever becomes too much... I can keep the name in mind. Sure, her name is Kate Morey. Kate Morey. You've never had an apprentice before? I, I had someone who worked with me for a little while, yeah. Someone who sort of had an interest in potion making, which as I said, right. honey used in a lot of those, surprisingly to some people. I only just found out, but... Man came into town a few weeks ago and Met him the first time at the music box. He was looking for a job that he called it potion making adjacent. <laughs> anyway, I got the impression that he dabbled a little bit on the outside and maybe was looking to pick up the trade. I see. That sounds very much like my friend. <laughs> well, I'll tell her and if you are looking for someone. But he didn't prove out, huh? Well... He worked for me for a while. He took to it pretty good. He was a little prone to absent-mindedness, if I'm being 100% honest. <laughs> but I liked him. Real smart. Had a lot of knowledge in that head of his. <laughs> Maybe, 
I don't know, six or seven days ago, he just didn't show up, and I haven't seen him since. I hope he's all right, but mm. people do come and go from Bronk Hollow, all kinds of reasons. Sure. Is this man wearing any jewelry? Uh, give me a perception check. <sighs> I take it. <laughs> um, that is a 16. He's wearing no jewelry at all. Cool. Okay. Um, and give me an insight check as well. <sighs> that 20 let's, let's fucking go. go. You get a little bit of the sense that he's not intentionally withholding or certainly not lying, but that there's a little more about this relationship that he had with this apprentice that, you know, you're a stranger, so he's not just sort of spilling everything, but that there's something on the tip of his tongue that he sort of holds back and instead just kind of nods and smiles. Mm. Was, was the man's name Pips? That's right, yeah, Haskell Pips. I've heard tell of him. Um, he was known to some in town. Yeah. Nobody's seen him, huh? Maybe he took a wagon out. Unless you think something else happened. I don't like to spread rumors. Oh, goodness, no. Well, But <laughs> sort of looks at your intentness. You can see him like a little sweating under the collar. <laughs> I once took a delivery over to Little Hollow, oh. Clinker Town. Yeah. And I thought I heard someone mention his name. Now, it was in passing, like near the mess hall where I do my drop offs. And I never got a chance to inquire any further, but. I mean, if you don't mind me supposing, with the caveat of uncertainty, mm. the way they said it made it sound like maybe he got himself locked up. <sighs> I have no idea what he might have done, but they was talking about processing and finding the right block like they were picking out a cell for him. Sorry if that's unwelcome news to you. Oh, no, I hardly knew the man. Um, oh. Unfortunate news for him. Oh. Again, I, I couldn't say for certain. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for letting me trouble your bees. Of course, any time. Mrs. Shelby, she'll tip her hat, and as she turns, it's like she like feels like her vision goes black again. Like she just is like, oh my gods. Like she, if she, if she wants to scream, but she's like, just gonna sort of make sure she keeps her back nice and calm and try to keep her face calm. And she's gonna like walk away and Bill and Barb are chattering at her and she's just gonna keep walking away. Heading back to the main part yep, of town. To the main part of town. Ooh. And she's going to remember that she should probably eat breakfast. As you're coming back in from that detention pass, sort of eastern part of town, you bump into TC heading in that direction. Oh, good morning, Mr. Well. Morning. Oh, going for a bit of a stroll, I see. Yes. I went to the apiary. Oh, right, right. Oh. Any news? Well, the rumor is that he has been arrested. No. <laughs> no, not. Because I need him. Listen, listen, listen. This is good news. It's great. It's great news. We have a lead on his whereabouts. Yes. However he... well guarded they may be. Yes. That is, good. information is always good. Yes. Knowing is better than not knowing. Mm. Mm hmm. We must make our way into the good graces of someone in that prison. F 
fucking yup. Where are you? I'm not, I'm not sure how yet, but we will find a okay, way. We I will find trust a way. in you. And we know he's not going anywhere. Well, I'd still like to talk to Maeve, but yes. Uh, if he yes, is arrested, uh, then yes. at least we know where he is. Sort of. Um, Fuck me. Yes. Um, where are you headed? Um, uh, forgive me, still just, uh, <laughs> um, stretching my legs. Uh, um, oh. Morning, uh... Constitution. Constitution, yes. yes. Uh, I'll meet you, um, back at the... at the inn. Great. The lodges. Okay. Good day. Good day. Follow TC there for a moment. <laughs> Thank you so much, Deirdre. <laughs> <laughs> for being just as freaked out as me and having other things to think about. The bright, what? <laughs> buzzing atmosphere of the apiary that you were just discussing. It looks so terribly Keep inviting ready. Ready. when you get atop the bluffs. Mm -hmm. Vibrant now in the daytime, in a way it wasn't when the sun had set. You've been down this row of houses before, the night before last, when you made your first attempt to locate the preacher's tent. You went to the no, we didn't do it yes, on, we right. did it kind of <laughs> off that's camera right. in a way. All of the structures kind of just faded into one generic blur as you pass them by on your way to the gnomes. This time, however, you move slow, and maybe not even on purpose. You take in the details of each place, differences in size, differences in architecture, the number of stories, the materials used, how faded is the wood, how solid is the foundation. Are there flowers in the planters? Is there smoke in the chimney? On the front porch of one house, a man is tending to his plants by gently tipping a watering can in his hands and seeing you walk by, he smiles. Passing by the apiary, one, two houses, three, four, five, six. You arrive at the property that is easily the smallest on the block, dwarfed by the following two buildings that are almost mansions in their own right. The home is unadorned, almost completely void of personality. And it's also built precariously close to the cliff's edge so that if you tried to walk around the backside, it looks like a good way to find yourself kind of tumbling down the bluffs. There's no noise, no light from within. Just a house that seems to peer enviously down upon the people in the thoroughfare below. There's no porch, there's no awning, one simple entrance in this one story house. Pushing the door open, it's somehow even more cramped than it looked on the outside. The barest of bare necessities. Stove, table, fireplace, not even a bed. You do notice that the south wall, which would be facing down towards Brunk Hollow, the main strip, has no windows, which is inconsistent with how it looked from afar. It looked like there were windows on the outside on that wall. And it immediately tips you off to the possibility that there might be another room here, even if there are no other doors to indicate how you would get to said room. Mm -hmm. Your heart skips a beat. When you get a better look at the fireplace, there's a high-backed chair that's turned three quarters of the way away from you. And only now are you noticing that there's an older gnomish gentleman sitting in it. Rumpled green jacket with rolled up sleeves, pointed ears that droop, and tufts of wiry hair on his knuckles and in his nostrils. The man does not acknowledge you at all. In fact, he sits concerningly still, so much so that for a moment you think he might be dead, but then you- There's life, okay. You see his chest rising yeah. and falling. Certain aspects of the fireplace as you look over there have a very familiar look to them. 
There are stacks of ceramic bowls on the far left <gasps> and far right of the mantle. And on the ceiling is a narrow mirror with four circular smudges caked onto the glass. Good morning. Sir? Sir, are you all right? I'll, I'll kind of come over and, and... As you come over and peek around, you see a kind of cloudiness in his eyes, and it, it strikes you that this man might be blind. <sighs> so, uh, good morning, I... Mm. Uh, what was that? Mm. <laughs> I hope I'm not disturbing you. I believe I must, I believe I must figure out this code once more. Do you mind if I help myself? Mm. I'm leaning like in to see, is there any, I don't okay. It sounds like more of a mm. moan or a grumble than, than words. <sighs> Excuse me. And I'll just go up to the, what do you bowls. do? Oh my fucking God. You look at all the ceramic bowls. Yes. There's bowls on the left bowl. They're in kind of a tall stack. Yeah. The ceramic bowls have various symbols on them, yep. just like they did at the mortuary. Hit me. Hit me. One of them has symbols of books that look both closed and open, different books and different kind of uh, rotations and looks. Yep. Another one has flocks of birds flying through the air. Mm -hmm. Another one has what look like kind of skeletons and scattered bones. There's one that has rows of swords, all kind of in a line. There's one that is like castles surrounded by smaller dwellings, almost like a large sort of township of some kind, with a castle in the middle. Mm -hmm. There's some that have large ships that are sailing on the seas, it has little waves, symbols of ships. One of them has reptiles, most notably kind of crocodiles and snakes. <laughs> yep. And finally, one that has trees of various shapes and sizes. All right, that's all I can find. In the, that the, looks like all the symbols. And there's, there's multiple of each? There are multiple of each, yes. They are on either side of the mantle, or they are on the mantle? All, like, there's a this mantle, and there's a stack of bowls on your left, and a stack of bowls on your right. And the mirror is above the mantle. Right above. And in the center of the mantelpiece, there were no bowls. And if you look up, that's like where the circles are lined up with above you in the okay. center of the mantel. How many circles are there? Four. I lost my, I lost it. There it is. Okay. Four circles. Oh my God. I take the trees. Mm -hmm. oh, did it, did it, left to right on the table, left to right in the mirror. Uh, Take the trees and put them on the left, on the first. Uh, on the mantle, on the, on the mantle, far left. On the far left. As soon as you get close, you feel that. <laughs> Nothing happens. <laughs> He's behind me at this yeah. point. He's like yeah. a bit close, feet away. Yes. Okay. I take the castles and the and the dwellings. Take the castles. Second. <laughs> it gets it gets the book back out. It's just a yeah. Trees, 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 kingdoms, books. Uh, take the books. Take the bowl with all the books. Check Open the close. guy again. Third one. <laughs> And not the beginning. All the others are the beginning. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! <gasps> skeleton. Example. That has the skeletons and the bones sort of scattered around it. 
and you sort of brace yourself a little bit, and you hear from behind you, <laughs> looking for mechanisms, looking at the fireplace, looking at him. Fireplace holds steady, and behind you, over by the kitchen, you hear a tuck the book away. You hear a, and a section of the wall seems to have swung ajar. Check in with the gnome one more time. Wave a hand in front of his face. Thank you for your service. Bless us all. And I'm gonna go towards the opening. And that's where we're gonna end. Oh, no, <laughs> no, 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 we are not. No, I'm so no, we are not. No, no. Absolutely not. I refuse. Oh. But, damn it. But, 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 but. <laughs> that is where we're gonna end tonight's oh, episode. Yeah. You did it! PC. I didn't do shit yet! Yes, you did! You have no idea what I've done! Yeah, I know. TC, with what the puzzle, his little book of prayers coming in handy. Oh, God. What he is quaking in his boots. Anthony! I got called out sick all this week so I can scream <laughs> all week! There was a lot of screaming in the thoroughfare happening uh, this morning. There was a lot of screaming in the thoroughfare. But that's what? where we're going to pick up next week. Oh my, oh my god. god, Anthony is <laughs> not okay right now. <laughs> Anthony, what are you doing? Are you I don't okay? No. Probably not. <laughs> but you pa- you did you didn't die this of the first you passed the first test. I'm not even into this place yet. <laughs> <laughs> that was the easy one. You gave him the easy ones. <laughs> <laughs> I'm impressed. Everything's fine. We're all, wow. it feels oh that way. My God. It's good to be yeah, fine together. Yeah, everything's going great. This last yeah. night. <laughs> yeah. All of our lives are perfect. Wow. Um, before we do our end of the night spiel, can you explain the bee thing? Oh, <laughs> because we all know what you were doing. Nobody else did. Stop it. It's a real thing. It isn't a thing real. I made up, but everyone accuses me of making it up. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're supposed to tell the bees news. This is like a real like superstition that in mostly like Celtic sort of cultures mm-hmm. that you tell them about major births and deaths because they want to know. And there's some debate of whether or not they can cross planes. And that was my argument. Everyone's like, you're full of shit, Deirdre. But Matt just was like, yeah, of course you can talk to the bees. So Shelby there. was like, someone wants to talk to my bees? Oh my God. Oh. Oh. I He's love like, him. And like, not even in like a way of, I want to hear secrets. He was just like, I want to hear him talk to the bees. <laughs> <laughs> he, like, he like stands right there. He's yeah. like, talk to the bees. Yeah. Yeah. I talked to them all the time. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Yes. Well, thank you. Oh, uh, all of you. Your guys' shit and your mom's shit oh, and your no. bee shit. What the hell? Like, oh. Last night, we all had such a great time yeah, together, God. and then we yeah. woke up and it was like, <laughs> uh, I couldn't believe you were writing a letter home. I was like, no. <laughs> 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 You sick son of a bitch! He was already there. I oh said, Dear Jonah, God. and you said, Jonah told me where to find you. Fuck <laughs> you, Jonah! 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 Jonah. 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 Piece of shit. Oh my God. Jonah. I'm Jordan. worried about you. Jordan? Can that Muscle Jordan? Mommy accompany you to Jordan? the next time? I can't believe we did that alone. Jordan, what? We've done a lot of DD together. I am more scared about next Fuck week you. than I have oh, been oh. ever oh, before. Say that to me. <laughs> supposed to do about it? I'm so excited. The episode's canceled, I guess. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited. Oh, it's not canceled. <laughs> Nothing is canceled. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all so much for joining oh us uh, on this uh, chalk-packed full episode. You got a line on old Mr. Pips there. Wow. Fuck! <laughs> heist, heist, oh, prison hey. heist. You guys are all going to fucking jail. Uh, 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 this is a song. I, I, I probably can't play a song, can I? No. I, oh, it's an ACDC it song. Jail oh, no. <laughs> <Jade laughs> break. Jade is going to be a day. You know what I can play, though? Is, uh, Udine, I can't Stone. wait to break into that freaking prison. Oh, my God. I'll play it for y'all afterwards. Okay. I was gonna, I was gonna play. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. Uh, here we go. Let me get this. You were asking, do you remember the tune? <gasps> oh yes. please, give it to me. Give it to me. And, uh... Also, did you notice anything about me reading those out loud? Yeah. 
I know. Giants brood until they are bones. Tieflings love up through it's when their time comes. Halflings Jim. chase dreams Jordan, you till sound they so fall good. to Shut their up. knees. <laughs> but God, stay strong, I cannot be wrong. Warlocks were slain, though their demons should grin. Druids stripped of their oh blasphemous God. whims. Thards fell mute, their filth conquered by hymns. Thank gods, their love cleansed this world of sin. Oh, yeah. oh God, it's going oh. over. <gasps> Wonderful. Wow. 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 What are you doing? Did you just, did you just show oh, I'm. It's fine to share now. Oh, tell us, oh my God. And what does it fucking yeah, say? what does it say? Know ye your words, TC. The gods endure. Lines one, two, three, five. Six houses down past the apiary, up on the bluffs. Before noon, don't bother knocking. <laughs> that is so sick. Oh, what are oh my you God. doing? This is all I know. <laughs> <laughs> that is sickening. Yeah, thank wow. you so much for joining us, everybody. Um, oh my gosh, thank you. It's going to be awesome next week. We're going to dive back is in. Is it? Uh, Do you promise? You said it would be awesome. some people. You said it would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, before we sign off, would you like to? Uh, yes, uh, oh, and also say man. all of those hymns are available on our Patreon. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna have to become being a added patron, patron this member week. so I can hear them. Oh, <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> we can send them to you. <laughs> They're lore. You have um, any? Yeah, it is. You I had to send them to Deirdre because I was like, you gotta know what these things are. Yeah. Um. Okay. Oh my gosh! Thank you all so much. Um. Annie Murphy did 100 bits. Marvel dominance. Subscribe with Prime. Your parent will go friend 550 bits, and then another 1,050 bits. <gasps> Thank you, Wiz Renee. Yeah. Gifted a sub. Jay Brownie did a thousand bits and we had some folks on TikTok asking about us so like go on our YouTube for previous episodes we're here every Sunday night 7 p.m. Eastern time oh, yeah. um yeah it's Thank easy you. to jump on the moving train so even if you, you can go back and watch but come back next week it'll all it all makes sense yeah we, we don't or even know that we're not so we're like, I don't like, know what's happening at all we know nothing <laughs> empty headed when Matt said and it's day four I'm like, oh, <laughs> okay <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, what this was about four episodes per day, right? Yeah. yeah. yeah that's yeah, not so that's bad. Cool. Yeah. 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 Um, it's gonna be a shorter campaign. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, you all level up. <gasps> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> no way. No. Like, how serious? Yeah. Yeah. I what? had it, I want it. Alright, let's We're go. Level no, I, no, this no, is bad. This is yeah. bad. That means because the magic, challenges are gonna get harder and I'll fight myself right now. <laughs> oh, let's go. I'm so excited. That's yeah. Yeah. I had a note and no I, oh, yeah. I had in my head, I, I thought we might reach a long rest at the end of last episode and I thought that was gonna Holy. be, but I didn't want to do a mid episode, but oh. welcome to, uh, welcome to level five. Matthew, Wait a stop, oh slow down. God. I need you guys, yeah, welcome are. to level six. Yeah. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so scared. I'm so scared. No, I'm not. <laughs> you guys. Um, it's gonna be okay. I'm unstoppable. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> Are you? My stealth is plus 10. Yeah, that's Holy true. Holy shit. My, my stealth is plus 10, my perception is plus 9. Oh yeah, it's gonna oh, be a great post stream. Uh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Oh yeah. Yes. We love you all. Have oh, a wonderful week. Oh my god. Thank you so much oh. for it. Uh, next week, same time, we'll see you all Oh, there. just join us oh, in the Discord God. for talking about this episode and beyond. Good night. Good night. Help me.